Hello folks. Good evening. How's it going? Thank you so much, Fazu, for the... I, I don't even know what what the text was today, but th thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate you, as always. We're sitting on the world creation screen. I want to kind of uh, just transparently um, tell you a few changes I made before I create the world. One is I have disabled mob explosion drop decay. The reason for that is um, I think the current default set of game rules encourages TNT dupes over like clever use of creepers and stuff. So I'd much rather lean into that than to do like the standard TNT dupe stuff. Um, so that is going to be off. And the other thing I've done is turn global sound events off because <laughs> global sound events suck. It's not a big deal because it's a single player world, but if I make some form of like automatic wither killer or something, I don't, you know, I want to be able to have that on. <laughs> Maybe it's a chunk lo loaded thing or whatever. And I, you know, I could do with having you know, the ability to be in my world without ding going off constantly. So that, so that is that. Otherwise it's a hardcore, you know, season one, the only season, obviously, you know, it's never never going to be an S2, obviously. Let's make the world. It's thought to be an interesting play. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> or, or it'll be like the shortest thing ever and I die like in the first time I enter a cave or whatever. Who knows? I'm going to try to play a little conservatively. Oh god, the lag? Okay. Well, this is a good enough start. Ah! What is... Uh, something feels off about my sensitivity. Not a fully random seed, actually. I have... Uh, I kind of... I've never seen the actual terrain before. Wow. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I'll answer that question in a little second in more details. But hello. Welcome in, Raiders. Thank you so much for joining me. We're just starting out a new hardcore world. This is intended to be a long-term world. So we'll, we'll see how long, I, you know... It actually becomes, but hello and welcome in. I hope you had a fantastic stream today. I'm sure, I'm sure the good old Joel kept you entertained. You should go check him out. There's a shout out there on the screen, or you know, in chat. Uh, I just got the question if this is a, a, a random seed. Now this is not a fully random seed. It's a random seed in that I used a. I've never seen the terrain before. I used a one of those online like map tools and scrolled through a few um, just to see if, you know, uh, there wasn't one that just started out in some biome I disliked or whatever. Um, but it's, you know, it's not a special pick. I've never actually, you know, played on this before. Hey, portal. Also, I didn't have structures on, so I only looked at kind of the biomes around. Um, should probably make a boat and go over there. I don't appear to have... I was kind of hoping we'd have some sheep here. Oh yeah, I haven't been in water, so boats don't exist. Um, I was kind of hoping to just be able to quickly make a bed. <laughs> But that appears to not be be a thing here. What's here? I'm having some... There's a skeleton down there. Nice. I'm having some rather peculiar lag spikes. What are my settings? Uh, 24, 12? Hmm. I'm... I think I'm just going to hope that it becomes better as the world kind of generates. So you're, if it's blurred, you're probably just on a lower quality. Oh, man. So we have a lush cave under here, apparently. Some mushrooms over there. A nice two. I did not do the GeoGuessr daily, no. People appear to really like that part of the stream, so what is over there? Oh, is that the portal? And I just went completely the wrong direction? I did. Okay, good. 
Um, no, people appear to really like that part of the the stream, so I'm, you know, I'm I'm gonna keep that for at least the time being. But we'll do it at the tail end of this. Oh, you were thinking like I did it on stream already. No, that's that's pretty much just gonna be at the end of the streams always. There are sheep there, nice. I think there's more than three, so I don't necessarily need shears either. Although, you know, I wouldn't, I would love to not kill all the sheep in the starting area. There are chickens here too. What do we got here? Well, I mean, it's supposed to be fine. Silk touch shovel. That's not, that's not too bad, you know. That's um. That's a piece of grass right there. Did you know? Not bad. Uh, we'll grab some copper. And we'll leave this chicken be, I think. I have so many things I want to eventually do in this world. Um, so I don't quite know what I'll be doing, like, in which order. Because there's like four million farms I want to try out making and stuff. What, some of the things I've sort of this decided I want to do with this is I want to not uh, build farms off of schematics and stuff. Or... Let's mm, let's be more precise. I don't want to build other people's farms off of schematics. I don't want to block by block build other people's stuff. Oh, I missed this ship like entirely. Uh, I haven't made doors yet. Uh, it's a front. What? This sh wait. Yeah, this should have the second map. Or the map chest. Um, yeah, basically... Oh, no. Oh, no, it's super far away. Um, to the extent that I'm going to be using Lightmatica for schematics and stuff, it's going to be my own schematics for farms I design. Otherwise, I want to make my own designs and figure stuff out. Uh, there's more than three here. Good, good. So we can we can kill three without feeling too guilty about things, and we'll have a bed. But yeah, that's kind of part of the reason I I made those starting settings changes. Also, did I not get a meat? I guess I did. Okay, that's good. Um, probably cook the food so we have that done. And then make the bed so we have that done. It's gonna have to be a white bed for now. We'll figure that out as as we get into this. Um, but yeah, today is very likely just gonna be trying to get, kind of get established. Figure stuff out. Not so much like starting on any big projects, just kind of exploring a little bit. Too bad I didn't get any, um, any trim patterns from that. That would have been nice. Okay, so just in time for my first little bit of hunger, we got our first little bit of food, so that's nice. Nice to see a relaxing lime stream today after the exhausting day I had yesterday, 14 hours in the lab. Holy smokes. Well, I hope you get some time to chill here. I don't need more to kill more animals or anything right now, I think. Do I want to go for this? Like, it's pretty far... It's, it's past spawn, basically. Is that another ship? It might be another ship. I don't think I need anything in particular here. Obviously, you need to go get some iron at some point, but it would be nice to just get some iron out of a ship and not have to go, like, diving or something. I should have made doors. You know what? There's some land here. Let's make doors. And this is the right direction for that uh, for that treasure chest. So, I mean, that's not the end of the world if, if I happen to get close to that. That is 
like at the very top right corner there that looks kind of like maybe uh, an ocean ruin that I missed. I'm not sure. I no longer see the ship. So it's not this, right? That's just a dirt pile. As more terrain loaded in, it became harder to see. That is far away. Maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was only that little bit that looked like a ship. Who knows? What is this going? Okay, we're closer now, so it's not too far away. Maybe I should probably just make this into a, ch a chest boat. Okay, here. I don't know if this is what I saw, but hey, it's here. It's a front again. This is the bad, the bad ship. I'll have some moss. I don't mind that. Props. Don't mind that either. Because this, I think, doesn't have a chest here, even though it kind of looks like it should. Yeah, this room is just empty here. Too bad. Should probably have picked up a chest somewhere, but... Okay, so... Probably need to head mostly south here. What is that? That's a... Uh... No, it's just a big oak, I think. Over there looks like more ocean ruins. I didn't kill a chicken yet, so I can't make a brush. So I guess we'll just leave those things. I mean, it would actually be a reasonably good thing to get a, get a, an iron axe out of a suspicious sand block. That would actually, you know, be pretty much a win, start early start of... Hmm. Have I lost track of where my spawn is? <laughs> I might I might need a compass from a ship here. <laughs> I think I'd probably, probably find my way back. It's it's not too far from zero zero, I think, so. If I see a chicken here somewhere, I can probably kill it for I mean we could also get a feather out of a ship if I eventually do find a ship. That's another that's uh, an ocean ruin, right? I mean, ocean ruins are... They're a risk. Like, even in Bingo, which we run on... Um, which we run on easy. Um, tridents hurt. Like, a lot. <laughs> and this is on hard, obviously, as it's hardcore. So, you know. We get close to that. We don't have a shield, even. And there's a trident guy there. That might that might be season two right there. He's out on that edge. There's a little cave down here. Emphasis on little. I think this is where I need to be. Can't find my coordinates. It's 10-9. There's 9-9. Okay. Don't hate that. A lot more gold than iron. I would have would have liked the iron there, but still don't hate it. Six iron. Do I grab these? Like, I guess. We'll leave the kelp. Actually, you know what? We'll take the chest. And we'll use it to make that chest boat. If I can get out. Thank you. Yeah, let's do this. Means we can't really, like, pick it up and move it as easily anymore, but that'll just have to be okay. And we don't need this anymore. Okay, so, hold on. Before I do anything else. One of this is definitely a shield. 100%. Because hardcore. Don't need one kelp.
Just try to organize my stuff a little bit. I don't want to eat the carrots and the potatoes, really. I kind of want to keep those for farming. And I haven't seen, like, any village or anything yet, so... Could be a while until we have easy access to those things from other sources. What's that over there? Man, give me an amethyst chart so I can make a spyglass here. I don't really see... Oh, well, turtles. That's nice. Um... I mean, turtle eggs are kind of central <laughs> to a bunch of farming mechanisms, so I wouldn't. Now the trident drown can scatter your items in addition to being annoying. <laughs> That's great, yes. Part of me wants to make the shears and just, like, breed these. Because I think I could mine them with a silk touch shovel. But, like, it's way too early for that, and I, I, I will find my way back, right? Right? I'm not going to put anything in the chest boat yes, just yet. I'm going to wait until I kind of have to because I'm out of inventory space. Um, because until I do, I kind of have the option of moving over land. But once I do that, it's kind of... Now I'm kind of stuck. And yeah, I don't have a brush. So I don't know if I care much about actually looting this place yet. Ooh. That's a big terrain. It's another ship? That's not the same one. Is this full? I think. Which means I could get a proper amount of iron. That would be nice. Like, actually get full, like, good iron tools. So that lets me do... Whoa! Hello. Hi, dolphin. Yes. Nice. Okay. Good. I love it. Ah! And there's our feather. Um... <laughs> uh, I might have to go back topside and just start putting stuff in. I guess I don't need four sand. Oh, we'll take. we'll take all of these. 17 iron. I'm also not going to need the stone pickaxe in a second. That's fine. Let's check this out. Or moss. Mending or protection for. Heck yeah. Don't mind these. Take these. And go back. Just in time. Okay. Since you have changed something already, why not enabled bundles? Because, like, bundles is kind of an experimental thing. It's, you know, not... not according to some, you know, some way of looking at it, not done. I don't feel a strong need to enable it. So... I, 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 I'm trying to stay as vanilla as possible, right? It's just, you know... Those particular things felt like I'm either going to dupe TNT or I'm going to make this change. And between those options, I'd rather make that change. Uh, I mean, I'm going to... I'm going to get more. I might end up making more changes, who knows. But like for now, that's kind of my... The wooden pick is fuel. <laughs> it's it's um, I'm damaged by bingo. We might we could keep it. That's the same one, right? I'm pretty sure that's the same place. Uh, that's a ship on land. That's a ruined portal. With a gold block? So this maybe clear out some space. I'm not gonna use a heart of the sea right now. I need to I need to cook the copper before I can make the brush.
Ah, right. Um. Should have actually, you know, made the stuff. That would have been smart. Alright, we're making an iron pick. Alright. Okay, maybe we do keep stuff for... Um, I guess I'm not making anything else right now. I need shears, but, like, we don't need them now now, and my inventory situation is not great. I get things, I got things, I think. There's another gold block down here. Nice. Uh, I, I don't know if I care about that, but that's actually pretty solid armor for having no armor, for having made no armor. And I'm gonna take that. Ow! Why did you have to be right that direction? That's rude. Zoom it out, stop mapping. I mean, could. Right, that's a drawback too. I can't, like, craft while I'm in the boat. Um, where was I going? I was going towards. Where was that ship? Here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, breaking the chest, sure, that's a, that's a valid option. It's just like, you get a bunch of garbage. And then you don't, you have to keep track of what the garbage you already have and what was from that chest, you know? So I'd prefer not to... Ah. Habits. I got everything. I think I got everything. <laughs> uh, time is it? Okay. Let's, we can go check at least some of this. <laughs> Secretly, I was on the Drowns faction, you know? It's gonna be the same. That's not the same. It's right here. Huh. Um, <laughs> I'm close to it. Can I even get up here? If I do... Mm, no. What else can't get down here? Okay, now we go sleep. Um, so I still haven't checked the food chest, and then we need to go for that, uh, treasure, which is right here. Uh, wait. There. Uh, I don't really need a Curse of Vanishing chest, thank you. I don't think I care for Suspicious 2 in this. <laughs> Alright, so where is this? It's like, uh, is it like actually under the ship? No, it's like here. Hello, turtle. Nine eight. Here. Okay, that's a solid amount of, of iron now. Survival in hardcore? What do you mean? 
Oh man, we have two water breathing. Nice. Uh, I don't need this. I don't need this. These can be put in here. So, like, actually, protection and projectile protection four. Those are actually really solid. Like protection one, uh, probably don't really need. But but those two are really solid. So I kind of, until I get enchanting and stuff, I kind of want to keep these two pieces, or until they break, of course. So no reason to not make pants, at least. Kind of might. Might actually um, make boots too. Okay. I think this is worthwhile. I am going to toss that. We're going to grab these. We are going to make a brush. Because, you know, why not? And keep this in here. Like, I can keep an extra tool in here. 12 emeralds. It's not bad. Copper. After that is kind of pointless. But, you know. Keep the feathers. It's our food. Stick that in there. It's a silk touch. The efficiency doesn't really matter. There's more sheep over there. Or something. I think I want to go back and set up at spawn. Eventually. General 20% projectile 52% damage, damage reduction. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, the enchantments just really, like, quite often make a bigger difference than the, the armor piece itself. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the fuel out of this thing. We don't really need to cook more, but I also don't. Actually, I might let it cook so that uh, there's eight remaining. That's one hole's worth of smelting. So we're not, not going not gonna to hurt from leaving that. Other than that we now have two inventory slots taken by copper, but that, that's okay. Um, put this in here, put that in here. Chest boat's almost full already, that's great. Take a little bit of a circle around my items so I don't pick them up again. It's a flower forest in there, and that's nice. So now we do have the ability to archaeologize stuff. That's nice. How many ships have I gone through? Like, it's quite a few, and I still haven't seen a, an armor pattern. A trim pattern. It's a little unfortunate. Let's go through this area, I guess. Still haven't seen a village either, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, there is a water path around here. Do I care, though? It doesn't go far by the looks of things. Hmm, I don't know. Because I have the chest boat, I'm now kind of stuck to the, to the water. So I guess we, we explore from the water first. Um, what was on that spawn island, actually? It was a dark oak forest, right? So actually, I might be a little tempted here to go and, and collect saplings of the other wood types. Uh, Lightmatic is not installed, actually. What I have right now is replay mod only and fabric API. We're we're uh, we're quite a ways away from from being at the stage where I would use a, a schematic. <laughs> um, uh, there's probably oak, but hey, we'll take it. I should probably make a, an iron hoe here. I can afford it. On the other hand, we just got it, so it's fine. Um, 
I don't want to go back. We'll, we'll stash these. Um, wait, did see. Oh, there's spruce up here too, so that's fine. Hi, Ozzy. How's it going? That's some snowy mountains. That's a cool little overhang, so is that. Uh, let's go for a spruce thing here. No, I don't have any any performance mod. Sugarcane? Yeah, I should take that. Not too bothered by it though, because like it's kind of everywhere. Like in general, I don't really need the performance mods, and they do sometimes mess stuff up. So if I can go without them, I kind of prefer that. No day one mob farm, iron farm, elytra. <laughs> hey, I did say we were taking it a little bit easier. <laughs> Play it a little bit conservatively, because I don't fancy just starting over immediately. Day one, season two wouldn't be wouldn't be ideal. Let's just say. Nice to see some Minecraft again. I feel like I've played the Minecraft still, you know. <laughs> uh, so we have Dark Oak for. There's a bunch of iron up there. I do have 21 iron, but that's actually not enough for like an anvil and stuff. So I'm kind of tempted to go. I thought the reason I started looking was this looked like a house or something to me, but it isn't. It's just one of those like boulders from. Uh, but I am a bit tempted to climb up there anyway. But ah, uh, no, no, we'll skip it for now. I'm just using performance mods and reporting bugs on the bug tracker. Which, which bug tracker? For the performance mods? Like one of the big reasons I don't want to have them on here in particular is the, is the hardcore mode, right? That looks weird, but I don't know what it is. It's probably just the shape of um, the sand and the dirt there. So here's that ocean ruin again, and now I do have... Oh, I do have the brush. This is full. <laughs> uh, do I dare? I do have the water breathing potions too. I think if the mod makes a mistake, I report the Mojang. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna get your inventory filled, that's for sure. Yeah, maybe. I mean, and, and there's nothing I really need from that now, right? So. It would be kind of silly to do. Nice lava pool. Lots of turtles around. That's kind of nice. Um, I could take a, uh, I could take a sapling from this, but I also had one of those trees on the spawn island, so that's a nice little, <laughs> that's a nice little tree. <laughs> that's, that's great. <laughs> Uh, early sniffer egg. Oh, that's true. That would be. Um, I don't know. I think that was cold. And you need warm for that. Circle around first to see if there's a shrine guide. Yeah. <laughs> Wooden hole needs. Yeah. Yeah. And my, you know, gold nuggets needs. Ugliest tree ever. What do you mean? It. It's a perfectly fine flying tree. This is Yay. this is a nice little. It looks like a like a little cat head or something here. <laughs> Root of dirt, my beloved. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I am a spy. One twenty one. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. You are a spy. I see. Um, that is probably not the most clever thing to declare. But you know. You do you. This is a wild place. Like, there's a floating island there, too. <laughs> that is actually pretty fun. <laughs> a lot of little, like, floaty bits here. 
What's that? That's just a dirt thing. Where am I? 500 and 1,100. Oh, there's a deep cave here too. Oh, what? Just behind there? Oh, there's a dark cave. I just saw a big piece of darkness there. Nice. That's pretty fun. Don't know that it's fun enough that I want to go there, but it's still pretty fun. Pumpkins up there. Wouldn't hate getting pumpkins and stuff, like, just to get, like, farms of all kinds of different materials going quite early, but... Okay, it's a deep dark. That's also a thing I don't really feel like I need right now. <laughs> Could do without the deep dark for a little bit. World's tiniest swamp biome? Uh, maybe. I'm used to I'm used to bingo biomes here, so <laughs> I've lost lost my sense of how. Oh no. Okay, well, the first thing I'm building is a canal. Oh, you know what? Should do this. Did did um no no we just don't talk about that no. I don't think this is good enough. But I have no reason to not make a bucket. Should have made one a long time ago, actually. Um, hello? Okay. Can't wait until I fire one my 122 world. Why would you wait for 120.2? It's a version that hasn't even been announced yet. Okay, there we go. It's filled in. Should be fine. Can't make it through here. Can't make it through here. Can't make it out here. There we go. That should be fine. I could never do hardcore. I die so many times it would be over two minutes after it began. Well, I mean, you know, that's a challenge. Once you once you start feeling confident enough, then then do this. You know, there's there's no reason to do it before you feel like you can do it reasonably successfully. Now there's one turtle here. I wouldn't mind grabbing a turtle egg, but there's only one, so I don't get care enough. No. Day one canal build. What is that out there? This is just some weird dirt again. Another little hint of a lush cave there. Okay. There's a big underwater cave. I wouldn't mind grabbing some glow lichen actually, but. This, there's apparently just lush caves underneath everything here. Did I see something red here? I think the tiger here could contain a trail ruin. I thought I saw something that didn't feel like it fit. I guess not. Only took a year to dig out. Have a good one, Fazu. that maybe i i do need to keep my eye out for for a trailer ruin because like it's likely to be something that just pops up when i explore is that a village that's a village nice um 
but I, I'm never going to be able to find one by just like searching for it. So I'm going to be much better off trying to keep my eyes peeled whenever I go through those biomes for any other reason. I have no idea where there's a desert. I've seen only the kind of forest biomes in every direction. I randomized the seed using like uh, like an online seed finder by looking a bunch of times and picked one that I kind of liked. Um, so I've seen the biome layout uh, immediately around spawn. That's, but it's it's not a like super picked seed. It's just like I randomized a bunch of times. It's not one of those. I must have like three witch huts within like you know. Oh, there, there's the pumpkin. You know what? I... <laughs> this is a collector's item. Yeah, yeah. The large birch biome. Um. Wait. I'm, I'm gonna grab these. But this isn't a. This isn't a library. Right? No, it's just a regular house. That's a little weird. Also, I haven't seen a single villager yet, which is also a little weird. I, I can't be bothered. Like, I'm... I, I'm gonna want berries for decoration at some point, right? But, you know... It's, it's, how are there no villagers? Does this village actually spawn without any, like, okay, there's a nitwit, and there's a, somebody, okay, cool, thank you. It is, I think, possible for a village to spawn without any, like, you know, actual <laughs> villagers' houses. Uh, I have everything except beetroot seeds that they could grow here. There aren't any beetroots here, so... I don't think I care about stealing there. They're wheat. Okay, so you're Mason. That's highly unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> there's three. Wait, okay, here's. Oh my goodness, what? Oh, they've been productive. This, they were like, this village is not large enough. Take some extra saplings, sure. To go back all the way for my boat then, but that's okay. Looms. Uh, I don't know. Well, there are villagers here, which is good. So I guess I should 1600 blocks out. But this is a place I could go and get villagers if I if I do want villagers, which I probably do. As a little, it feels a little like almost cheap, but like the villager progression is just so good that it's hard to skip it. So where am I going? I'm kind of on the axis here, so I, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to just turn. And go straight back and see what I find, and then once we get home, I can I can put down a chest, some chests and stuff, and store some stuff. But then head out on exploration again, just so I don't have to can't, like move everything around with me all the time. Hi, nice, Sonora. <laughs> nice, Fabian. Imagine if villagers could build new houses and expand. Yeah. Very interesting, right? But ooh, okay. Um, but it's one of those core core Minecraft design concept things that like the player is the one actually making changes to the world as to as big a degree as possible. Always steal the bell for wandering trader needs. I mean, why though? It's only if you're gonna be... Like, I guess if you want to protect your base by having wandering traders go away from it. 
or if you're making a farm. Those are the two cases I can see where you'd need that. Because otherwise, like, the, the, the Wandering Trader will try to find a bell when it spawns on you, but if it doesn't find a bell, it will go to you. So, like, it doesn't really help <laughs> to have a bell it, to, to kind of lure them in. Weather made big changes to the world. True. I thought this was a ship. It's just dirt. Oh, well. There's a whole bunch of taiga here. So there's a lot of, like, potential places for trail ruins. I would like to explore one of them. There's a ship? That isn't one I've explored, right? Hi, Tired Bunny. That kind of looked like a ship, too, but I guess it isn't. It just faded out of view as I saw it, also. I don't think I've been on this side. I think I went, like, the other side of that big uh, island there, so... There are two ships right next to each other. Huh. Interesting. Oh, this is one of those horrible ones that's really annoying to get into. And that's... That's all I had space for. Very good. Let's put everything that stacks in here. Was that everything that stacks? That might have been everything that stacks. <laughs> Run. Hmm. Oh, books. There we go. Okay, so that, that's not too far away. Okay. The, just, just to be honest, those are stupidly good starting enchants. What? Like, two protection four? Keeping an oak sapling? I'm collecting all the saplings. I don't think... I'm not sure I had oak at, on my starting island. 27 iron, that's good. Like, even, yes, they are leather, but but two protection four and one projectile protection four, that's good stuff. Um, We go check the other ship, then we check the... I checked all the chests here, yes. And then we check the, um, the treasure. So many boats and no trim? Um, have you, have you, um, have you heard of the concept of lime luck? <laughs> nice. It's completely messed up. Um... Uh, I don't... I do kind of want this. Oh, uh, I don't care about the sand. It's fine. This is a half ship. Correct, like, right side up. I don't know if that has the other chest. Wait. Oh, it does, yes. Okay. And the compass. Nice. This is surely going to be the same map, though. Yeah. I don't care about that. Pick those up. Almost a stack. Don't need the sand. I do want this, though. Um, where's my boat? 
Stack those in there, stack that in there. There's something else? I thought there was something else I could stack in here. I'm so lost. Whatever, it's fine. Pants have nothing. Pants are the only part I made myself. They're iron pants without anything. Yay. Just gonna grab these real quick. I can't toss anything in the boat because the boat is full. Oh, you mean this? Um, these are my two first pickaxes. There's kind of this, uh, you should keep that vibe going with chat. So, I could throw them away, but it would be kind of nice to keep them. Hi, Leon. Good to see you again. Uh, we're going straight east. Where, where am I heading? Straight east. Very good. Grab these on the way. 50 sugarcane? Not too shabby. You could put make a chest and put them in there. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just kind of just kind of trying to trying to get back to my starting place with them. Which was a good idea until I started seeing ships. <laughs> Oh, well, that's interesting. Mm, it's in here. Yeah, I don't want much. Okay. Right, of course we get another one of those. First diamond. Um, could have put that away, so don't need the dirt. The only thing I didn't pick up is the one thing that would stack in here. So, GG. Oh no! Come on. Part of the sea. Lapis. Very good. Didn't want the sand. Wanted to put that away. I don't really care about an iron sword. The only reason to ever use a sword is looting. Uh, lapis. Great, thank you. Honestly, could toss these also. I think we'll do that. We'll toss the gold boots. Let's stack this in here. Is he trolling with the lapis? Oh yeah, nice, thank you. Is that a ship? No, it wasn't. Okay, and I need to I need to find a way to keep going that way uh, on the ocean. So I think I'll try this side. How hardcore is the mode this time? This is a hardcore world. The potions will stack if you decide to waste them. Well, the potions wouldn't stack. The container for the potion would stack. It's not quite the same, though. Leaving for the countryside? Well, that sounds nice, though. Oh no, well, pr pretty good timing actually, because I'm going to sleep here in a second, so... You know, rain will go away again. 
some glow lichen down there, which I wouldn't mind taking, but I'm just out of space at this point. I should make my messages twice as long because you only read out. Yes, sure. Is this the same one as I saw before? The one I was considering taking? No, it's too close to spawn for that. I know. I know it wasn't correct. <laughs> it wasn't the correctness that was the important part there. <laughs> um, is this this? Is this it? I think this might be Spawn Island. I... We're close to zero zero, and I don't think it was exactly at zero zero. And it does have the right terrain and stuff. And there's a ship. Yeah, I think this is it. And there's the portal, yeah. Um, is it this or that one? Um, there was like a ravine thing going through it. If we can find a like little little dip where I start, the, mm, I don't recognize this. It might be that island. Well, I have a I have a compass. So yeah, here's my starting starting dig, right? Actual world, world spawn is this way. Yep, right here. You know what? We should make torches. Let's mark mark world spawn. Uh. It's on zero, 128 and zero. Probably just make a sign or something put there, but there, there's our world spawn for now. Cool. I don't quite know what I want to do here. Uh, I did have birch here, but I'm not sure I, I don't have a regular oak though. So that is kind of nice that I grabbed that sapling. Um, likely I will like to clear out all the forest here and build, like use this, um, this, whole island for just builds but you know that's probably a later thing um i think for now i will put like a little storage stuff down here on kind of on the beach and make like a temporary temporary base thing right around here because that will not be in the way if I start building stuff up there. I didn't see any jungle, did I? I also didn't get any bamboo from any of the... from any of the ships. Because that would have been kind of nice. I think I'm just going to do this. Like, we're just going to put a bunch of stuff. So maybe the bottom one is kind of... blocks. And the top one is, like... Rare item. The countryside will definitely be nice. Yes. Oh, it will be the time of my life. <laughs> my smallest kiddo is going to get stuck in a bush of nettle. He's going to get stung by a couple of bees. He's going to get his hand in a cat's mouth. <laughs> He's going to be knocked by a goatling. He's going to meet geese. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. I, I don't know how Brian managed to so perfectly pick up on the snarkiness <laughs> but but that was perfect that was absolutely perfect <laughs> how much iron do i have i have enough for an anvil here and i do have three levels which is good This is the pickaxe of destiny. This is the pickaxe of destiny. Level two. There we go. <laughs> and that's two of my three levels. Um, sure, we'll put them here. 
<laughs> well, I mean, uh, uh, I hope despite despite the snarkiness that you will enjoy your time. <laughs> Nine feathers, you can go in here. So we're just gonna kind of organize for a little bit. Let's maybe put the like mineral stuff up here. Um, yeah, well, you know what, why not? I don't know if I've ever made one of these before, but you know what, I, I don't mind just Taking all the lightning strikes over there if we do have them. Um, this can go here. Just make a new crafting table. Put it here. And that one I'll bring with me. So here's a little setup. Pickaxe of free will. <laughs> that would be something. Um, I'll leave the books. We'll put like all the seeds and stuff on this. Put all the saplings here. Moss can go like here somewhere. Leave these, I think. Brian is not sarcastic. Brian is also happy to be here. Hmm. Very good. Good to know. Thank you, Brian. Uh. I don't... well... Yay. Well, we'll probably just make a flint and steel out of this, to be honest. I might find one, but it's fine. This is all very temporary setup, so... I should probably also get a bunch of, like, farming materials and start some farms for these things, but... Um, sure. And honestly, potion of water breathing kind of just makes sense to bring it. Don't need the prismarine. Kind of enticed to just make TNT out of all this, but I guess I don't need it. Um. <laughs> Brian cannot pronounce that. Brian was very confused. <laughs> Thank you for the 25 bits, though. Now, yeah, that's a way to guarantee that I'll find many flint and steel. That is true. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you broke, Brian. Oh, I'll toss these in here. Uh, we'll leave the gold. That makes more sense. Just have a bunch of random food here. We'll leave these, I think. And we'll bring the TNT. So who knows? Two types of planks. Um, shovel is gonna break. I guess it's fine. We'll just make a new one when it does. So unexpected, I never broke Ryan before. Um, okay, sure, yeah. Just even this out a little bit and grab this copper. And the real reason I did that was I wanted some more, more cobblestone. Um, here's some more copper, so why not? I guess a good reason why not is fortune, actually. But we'll find so much of this stuff, it's fine. Um, don't, don't leave it there, leave it here. Um, so we're two. So I kind of went there and then circled around this way, I think, and then came back here. I only have my one bed, so I can't really leave a bed behind. I'm feeling like I should go explore out this direction. So I went pretty much positive Z, but not negative Z. Brought four leather pieces is definitely more effective than unenchanted iron, yes. The big secret is that the enchantment does a lot more than the style Yay. of or the, the material type. 
Is this challenge to not use torches to light up your spawn island? No. I don't have no reason to do it though. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna be here much for now. And why torch spam? I mean, put our tor some torches here just to kind of have somewhere to see that this light if needed, but I'm gonna sleep away nights and stuff, so, you know. Nice little dolphin jumping in there. Let me sleep. <laughs> Brian can perfectly pronounce it. Brian just chooses not to. Who knows what Brian chooses? There we go. I could make lanterns, yeah, but lan why? why? Lanterns is great for, like, if you want lanterns to build with for decoration, right? But no reason. So likely pretty soon we'll want to go caving or mining. Okay. Um, these are right here. They're also cold. I don't see any any drowned. There's certainly no tridents whizzing by, so you know. Hello, Trident Kai. Sure. This is gonna be so much easier once I get like uh, aqua affinity and uh, respiration though. There is some drowned gurgling going on. There's a shirt, very nice. Hey. Mm, I don't know that I feel like this is worthwhile. I did want to check the chest, though. So, I mean, that's a win, I guess. A lot of dark, dark oak forest around. I think this is actually the most normal single-player less place Last Lamb has ever done. That's uh. Quite possible. Ooh, that's a nice cliff. Did I check this boat? I was at that portal. I might have seen this, but I'm not sure. Is this where I got the first, like, really bad map? No, but this is equally bad. <laughs> Come on, game. Oh, that didn't even find the place oh my goodness there's just no buried treasure in quite a radius here okay it will have some front like the front it, it could all, excuse me all the all the chests could have the trim pattern which would be good um that's the same as i got before so like a little over there we're still getting that chest over here there's nothing um but we could get bamboo here which would be really good also oh my goodness what man you gotta check on your refrigerator there. All your meat is rotten. Um, don't know what that is. I'm not sure it's too interesting. There's a cave up here. Mending. I have one diamond. Yeah, but mending on a... On a... You know, leather chest plate. There's a nice cave also. Let's lower down. 
think there are lush lush bits coming out of it. Yeah, so there are lush caves all around here. Um, I don't necessarily... Is that another shipwreck? I don't necessarily need lush caves right now. Interesting. That's like a grove, I think. Not many have one. I don't know. But I like... This is already a lot better. Gold won't last that long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, an, an unenchanted iron press, uh, uh, iron chest plate is better than mending on a leather one. What the heck have they done to this ship? Whoever was the captain here needs a uh, stern talking to. Nice. I don't care about pumpkins. I actually got myself stuck. Sideways ship. Front. Uh. Can't remember, but I think this might be the type that doesn't have the map chest. Stern talking to. Sure, yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel like I would just want to go explore more. I don't think caving is the thing right now. There's no stern in this ship? Well, I mean, that's why he needs the talking to. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I'm going back. So we came from that direction. We're going here. That's kind of closed in. Can't go anywhere on the ocean there. How about here? Jimmy, so you're kind of just exploring the area around my spawn right now. Kind of trying to gather up the materials from all the structures and stuff. Wouldn't mind getting in, you know, trim pattern and stuff thing. Definitely wouldn't mind some more diamonds. Oh, this looks... That looks interesting. I probably do just do need to go caving here. But you know, I'm not gonna just ignore this when it's here. I think a good target would probably be to try to get enchanting. You know what? I didn't make shears yet. Okay. Leather with netherite trim. Now that's a swag. Okay, so we can't... Can't really get anywhere here. Oh, maybe. Behind here? What's over there? It's a big hill. So I found one village this far, and it wasn't really a very good one. I would love to actually find a good village. We're quite far away again, though. Um, I want to go caving, then I think uh, probably I just go back and cave from spawn. Like, just dig down, find materials that way. Because... Like, if I go here, then I'm, all that happens is I'm further away from dumping the stuff I find. This is a general long-term world. Like this, this is meant to be, like, my permanent world. Or, you know, maybe I'll die immediately, who knows. Ugh. Annoying. She just dug it out. It's 
It's a bunch of pigs. I was like, why is the hill pink? Still haven't seen any cherry grow. That kind of looks like the area where you might find one. But we haven't. Does this circle around? I guess I'm going to have to assume that it does. There's more iron up there. We got 10, 31. I don't really need iron. Uh, I also don't need sugar cane, really. Would be nice to get some redstone and like automate a few things, I guess. Also gonna need to figure out like where I get slime. Probably try to see if there's some like slime spawning in one of the chunks underneath my spawn island there. Ooh. Okay. All right. <laughs> That that is um That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sunset through the cave. Nice. Well, well, well. Alright. Is there anything of like use here? Is there any reason for us to go in and explore this? There are mobs. Including one with some enchant- what's that, though? I cannot tell what that is. Hey, Monster Hunter. It's too bright to be... to be diorite or something. It's just lit up stone, okay. From that completely invisible lava stream. Nice. Um, I don't know. I don't think this is worthwhile right now. We might come back here later, or we might just make something really cool out of that cave eventually. Please don't jump off. Only three food? Uh, only three food in the stack. And then also these 13 and these 15. Yay. Oh, it's just a bunch of pink flowers. I was like, there is no way there's a cherry grove by down there. Um, that's the messed up ship I was at before. So we've just circled this mountain thing. That's okay. So we'll go a little bit here. I don't know, then I think I might go back and then see if I want to dig down or something for... Uh, just trying to find a, a cave system or even just, like, branch mine a bit. A nice emerald lock. Definitely not mining that without silk touch. That again. Are we just headed straight back now? Yeah, we are. So this is straight back towards spawn. I could try to get this way, but I think I'd eventually end up in the same place. Like this is the portal. Yeah, so that, that will mean I'm going the same way as I did the first time. Good, maybe go in here. Yeah, let's go in here and explore a little bit. It's a nice terrain here, yeah. I like it. A little worried about the fact that we've only seen kind of the same biomes in every direction. I do need a jungle and a, and some deserty stuff at some point, but I guess maybe that'll just be further out. There's a lot of birch and a lot of dark forest and a lot of just mountains. Not much else here. I guess we'll grab this. 
Pause reminder by Atlo Enzalart underscore underscore Lart. <laughs> Atlo and thank you. Thank you. Um yeah. <laughs> I probably should. Probably should. No, we haven't seen Acacia. We haven't seen bamboo. We haven't seen cherry groves. Like, uh, I feel like there's lots we haven't seen. But all right, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we should probably, we should probably do. Was that Windows sound the pause reminder? No, it wasn't. The Windows sound was a Windows sound because I have something that likes making noises. I haven't seen a mushroom island if you'd like that. That's a ship I haven't checked, I think. Although it shouldn't be. That's some weird terrain. <laughs> That's a nice cave. Okay, this is some nice stuff around. There's uh, cool places around. I don't know how useful they are. Oh, wow. Well, that's that's an overhang. <laughs> that was an oddly shaped white section there. I think it's probably diorite. Yeah, it couldn't be a geode because geodes are always lower down. That's cool, though. What's in there? There's something there they can't quite make out. Have I been here? No. Definitely getting a good, like, starting set of stuff here. I'm s very surprised that I haven't found the, the trim patterns yet. Oh, boy. But... Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was just going to say, but that's just lime luck for you. I guess I'll take an empty map. So, we're still in territory where there are no ruined treasures anywhere nearby. The worms I don't really care about. We'll take these. I don't really need more moss. Alright, so got our first trim patterns. That's nice. Stash some stuff away here. That's really good. I do want to go... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, so that that's what, what's behind us. I do want to go check this. It looks weird, this thing in here. It's like a wall there. Is it just... It's just a glow like in that lights up stone a bit weirdly. Yeah. I thought it would be like... I thought this was a different material because of that. I guess we'll nab these. Okay, that's fine. That's cool though. <laughs> it looks almost like a cross section of a cave. Skelly. Alright, so maybe I'll turn back now and we are approaching the first pause, so uh we might go back to store everything and then after the break we go actually mining slash caving. that's uh, a cold ocean ruin too. I think. Ocean. Yeah. That is a big one. That could have like an enchanted book in it, but I don't know if. <laughs> You've paused that? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not slave to these reminders. <laughs> That's not where my first pause is supposed to be. There's no no kiddo at home to make adjustments for. <laughs> Is this the island? I think this might be the island. Yeah, that's the... No. 
No, this is the one, uh, one over that I thought it might be, but then it wasn't. Now you're on the third turn? Anarchy? <laughs> See? I don't conform to your rules. I read what part I want to. Even with the old system is coming in two minutes. Well, three according to my clock. And that's plenty of time to make it back to this island. So, there. <laughs> I was promised some funny clips. Yeah, I'm only here for the pause clips, you know? G g g like, get this whole streaming thing out of the way so we can have our pause. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Um... So let's go put some of this stuff away. Smelt this up. Put these in here, I guess. Nice. These go in here somewhere too. I don't know where. Maybe over here. Put that in there. Did I have nuggets in here? I did. Do that. 24 emeralds. 51 gold. Look at that. And the blade pottery shirt. I'm pretty good. And this will keep in the. You know what? We can put this in here too. Shirt. Shirt. We'll sleep this night away, then we'll take our break, and then we'll go start some form of mine or cave or something. I don't know if I've seen any, like, good cave entrance on the island, so maybe we'll just, like, mine down the staircase. It's a decent starting setup this far. Happy about it. All right. Very good. Looking fancy, too. <laughs> All right, that's that's our break. We'll pause here. We'll run some clips, fun fun stuff from the channel history. The one depressed guy. Thank you for the follow. Glad you're here. Hope you're doing okay. And Ashton, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you, Fabian, for the 25 bits. Uh, we shall run clips. We shall run ads to get rid of the pre-roll ads for people. If you're a sub, you don't get ads. What will be the schedule for Hardcore? Uh, hardcore is going to be my regular Sunday slot from now on. Um, and then as long as I'm doing this clockwork challenge, I might play more Hardcore. We'll find out. You know, it, the, the other days are kind of whatever, I feel like. So we might do more Hardcore, especially now in the beginning. But... It will definitely be the regular Sunday slot. Anyway, break time. Fill up your drinks, grab some more snacks, and we'll be right back. I think there's no way. How much, how much time we have left? 11 minutes. At the time, it was always there. I was always asking how much time we have left. <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're kidding me! Yes. And you're right. Oops. What city? Are you oh, serious? no! Whoa. This is cheating, man. This is hacks. This what? can't be true. How? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have an ender pearl? I didn't think that was possible. Um. What's got to say? The monumental team is really nice, man. No, this is not what I meant. This is vanilla. Wow. I've never. Oh. Me. <laughs> your your cape is going right through my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Too, too much of a rush to stop. You'll like just have to. It's, it, I know it's uncomfortable, but you know, that's okay, how it goes with 
Lime's taxi boat. Yeah. <laughs> gonna, yeah. If, if you stop suddenly, I'm going to get decapitated. <laughs> What do I put in the corners? Do I not put anything? At the underscore guy 1604 asked for this. You got it, chat. You got your wish. <laughs> How in the world? Well, I was a guest. doesn't really exist. That might. That was close. Ho! You see that shot? <laughs> Kinda useless, but... I'm not gonna ask permission for this, okay? But I uh -huh. hope everything is okay. <laughs> well, I guess, so it's up to you now. Okay, I, I, I'm just a passenger okay, this on this journey. You get to um, yeah, just uh, go ahead and, and uh, start working on completing this game. Yep, any, any moment now. I am now. going to. Why I'm going to you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna literally going to carry you through this through this playthrough. <laughs> so it's a literal carry. Perfect. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna drop you into that horse. Yep. There we go. Or into the oh. hole. I don't know. <laughs> what just happened? Ren drops. Break things! Break all the things! Oh, diamond block! Shulk box. Uh, bucket, which I wanted. Just flushing all these things away, great. Uh, um, think about it. I don't, I don't want the gold helmet. Oh my god, what what does that mean? No. No. Yes, slime, please create many entities around you. No. No. Oh my <laughs> You're so mean, chat. We're sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> no. What oh, chaters? Silzer's vibrant uh, volumetric light lightning extreme version. Another reason I like BSL because you just say BSL, <laughs> not like the amazing Mega Pack Extreme Ultra with all the belts and whistles. Oh, there is a boat down there. Hello. All right. So yeah, first order of business here. I've got 33 coal. That seems pretty good, but I think I want to mine up some more. Um, and then we're going to go s kind of scour the island a little bit, see if there's any place that is, like, if, if there's any place that looks like a good entrance to a cave. We figure out what we need to bring. I've got a decent amount of food, but not, like, super much. I guess I don't really have a Yay. super good reason to keep a bunch of wheat around. Because I'm going to run out of food if I just... I mean, I could trade the wheat, but we'll get more. I'll just do this, I think. Save the first iron pick? Ah, uh, we could do that, I guess. What do I call them? The pickaxe of destiny? There it is. Uh, we'll do this. So you go from right to left, and then we'll make a new one. Uh, should I bring more wood? Probably should. No lead for torches. That that should be fine. I don't feel like I need a. S is there any reason? What would I need a silk touch pick for underground? Or a silk touch shovel for, I mean. Silk touch pick, yes, but... I 
I don't know that there's anything that I would need this for. Grass block? Yeah, but I mean, you'll find that on the surface, not underground. Um, so there's this here. I'd rather, I'd rather cave dry, but I guess that might not be an option here. Well, let's run around a little bit and check. We have 40 coal. You know what? I'll take these. I'd, I'd love to get fortune and get a bunch of coal, but you know, initially we're just, I'm, I need to be able to torch spam my way down here. Silk touch ores with a shovel. <laughs> Even then, if you don't have, um, if you don't have fortune, you're you're gonna be better off just normally mining them and then compressing them into raw blocks. It's gonna be better than just stacking them one by one. Don't really see any good. There's obviously a lush cave under here. What's this down here? Some water. Um, I've, I've kind of switched to not using shaders as my main play because I, I know there are some people who kind of complained a little bit and didn't like the, the style. And I feel like it's always good to like switch back and forth. Yeah, there's a lot of aquifer stuff here. So I guess I'm just going to dig. We're probably going to end up swimming. Should bring the water. Yeah, like everything is updated. Been updated for a long time. There's more coal. I have a stack though, I don't care. Um, and they are in the boat. I don't need the brush, right? Don't need this. Don't really need the flint and steel. Might need the doors. Don't need the compass, really. We can leave that. I'll just make the just torches out of those. Food seems decent. I don't need the one dirt, but the one dirt is going to get, you know, filled up with more dirt. So do want the bed. I guess it's fine. And this is a good enough place, I think. Well, we're going to immediately dig into this, I guess. It's pretty deep. Um, I don't know. It's probably not just not worth over t overthinking. We'll we'll just go here. And the hope we find something good. I want this on my bar. Take this off my bar. This on. Uh, blocks on and torches. There we go. And I'm going to spam more torches than we need because of the new light, like mob spawning from 118. It's because I want, I like being able to see things. So please don't complain about it. I'm not trying to be optimal with my torches. Especially not because like I'd like you to be able to see things also. That wasn't too bad. Oh, shouldn't have said anything. That looks actually pretty large. So th this might be... This might be where we have to deal with the water. Yeah, th this is the actual big one. Um, 
we can hit this. Honestly, I think we might be best off just drinking a uh, water breathing. Let's do it. Go exploring a little bit here first, and then we can like we can dig more if we find out that that's gonna be the best way to do this. Would have loved the night vision, but hey, it is what it is. Beginning of the game. So here should be into the lush cave then. This is kind of a nice way to go. If it went down more, I would appreciate that, but okay, we're at 24. Some lapis here. I don't really need more lapis though. And so it makes a lot more sense just leaving it for when I have fortune stuff. This goes down, I think. A little bit. Um, so there's lava popping here. Hold on. It's to my left. I should probably switch the um, subtitles on. Not us. Um, it is. It is. Yeah, it's diagonal from me. Okay. And I guess it was actually kind of up. Yay, we got granite. Woohoo! Then hold on. Granite with an iron in it? Was it just random or was is this an actual vein? No wait. It's the copper veins that have the granite. Right? Skeleton rattles ahead. Guy is copper. Yeah, okay. So it was just a random, like, mix up of ore generation and gr granite blob. Okay. Well, this won't be where the skeleton was. Still have this. That's good, though. What is our. We're almost running out, but that's okay. Putting the granite on the bar. Okay, Axel murdering a glow squid over here. Did we get a. A drop from that? No. Kind of want to capture it, but I, I, I can't. Not now. So here's tough and into the tropical fish dies. <laughs> this is just a. <laughs> uh, let's do this. The axles are just murdering everything. Nice. Definitely want to collect those. There's our first bit of redstone right over a lava pool. Can't reach it. Great. Come here. Ooh, two of them. How deep is this? That's this just disappears. <laughs> okay. Nice. Roasted cloveberries. <laughs> See, that's the the new food update or something. Um, I'm down in the deep slate, so we're in a decent. We're at a decent place, but I'm not seeing anything too great. I only a spider, right? Eh? The first drop, reasonable, nice. Okay, that's the bottom of the tree above. Hello, can I help you, sir? You got a problem? Okay. 
So reinforcement. Um, I don't want to go too ham on just collecting those. I, like they're a fun block, but I, that's not what I need right now. <laughs> I'd love to find some actual like diamonds and redstone. And this is a little bit of a messy biome because they have all this tall grass that hides mobs. So on the other hand, when they're you know right here. I saw some diamonds there, but I don't know. Guess I didn't. A redstone. Only one though. Enderman. Enchanted bow. Could I um interest you in shooting the zombie fool? There you go. Thank you. Ow! Dude, why you just go fight him? Oh, stupid zombie. Okay, so he took a bunch of hits there before. Enderman is dancing. Very nice. It's not too bad of a bow. He dropped it too. And my inventory is full, so I didn't pick it up. Still didn't pick it up. I picked up his bones. Uh, it's got 10 durability, power 1. I wouldn't hate killing that Enderman. Goodness. I was not expecting that. It's the problem with this grass. Can't play stuff, hides everything. <laughs> what are you doing? Thank you. Holding a play. Okay. Hey. First pearl. Sweet. It's another piece of redstone down there. Otherwise, I don't. Well, there's down here that might be interesting. Some stuff up here, maybe? Iron. Let's, let's light up a little bit. Oh, more redstone. And one of you. Good XP from this, too. Just collecting those, so that's nice. Yeah, I mean, ender chest component for sure, or like 
thing needed to get the to the, you know kill the dragon. Nice hanging gravel. Where was that redstone? A little bat. So down there, some more stuff. Here's the redstone. Hello. Really want to be in my face. Okay. So another path down here. None of them have been like immediately like have the way that they have something like useful visible. It's more like, oh yeah, there's a there's more stuff here. There's more mobs there, but I, I don't see oh, there's a mine shaft. Well, that is potentially interesting and also potentially dangerous, but I mean, I I need to toss stuff soon. Oh, hi, hey loser! What the heck? Dang binds. Okay. Oh yeah, that pulled all the zombies, of course. Can I come up here? Oh, you picked it up. How nice. Just holding the flesh of your fallen brethren. Very cute. Do I explore this or do I, do I dig further? <laughs> that, that ain't it. Really? Really? Is there a spawner in here or something? There is. Two buckets. A little bit of gunpowder. Some string. Don't hate that. Saddle. Throw out the cola all over the place. Golden apple. Don't hate that either. Buckets to our heart content. Leave the dirt. Leave some extra. You know what? We'll do this. Okay, cool. So, this is uh, an interesting thing. I was like, there's no way. There's no way there's that much. Skelly, see me? Hello? Were you stuck? Or you're stuck with rails? I don't love this. Back off a little bit, eat. Peter, yeah, I'm. Mean, I, I don't have, like, of space. I, I kind of need to focus on stuff I came here to get. Should have brought the diamond I had, I guess. Okay, all right, game on. You want to come here? Or you're just going to be silly like that. You're just going to be silly. Okay, can't get up here. All right, cool. Good story. Uh, I can't really effectively fight him without having everything blow up. Are the zombies inside here? Like, let's go. I, I, this is what I really wanted. I don't love the fact that... The spiders, there. Don't tell me there's like a spider spawner in here. Um, that's awkward. Uh... I don't like feel safe here is the problem. 
I would love to. I don't know where. How far am I? I have 200 blocks. So I'm actually not under my spawn island. Oh, wait. Uh, which coordinate was. Which coordinate was. 0 and which was 128? Because that might be able to make this into a farm if it's inside of the ticking range. 0, 2, and 182. So it's definitely not, it's definitely outside of the range. But hey, we'll, we'll be able to use this like for just getting a shard. So I can at least make a spy glass, you know? Yeah, okay, it is actually that. That's terrifying. <laughs> that is actually terrifying. That one is... Oh, it's kind of lit up, though. I mean, it's obviously spawning, but not on the side, maybe? Uh... The coward way would be to just sit here and wait for this one to grow. Oh, boy. You just come up here then. Stupid. Hello? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um. Um. This kind of sucks. Because I'm going to be picking up all the things. None of these are grown. That's that's a large bud, so it's also not grown. That one, I think, is grown. I, that's dumb. That's just stupid. Give me that. Thank you. And with that, we are kind of done here. <laughs> don't want to don't want to keep going here. It's not like I want to find one underneath my spawn chunks, basically, or underneath my spawn islands. Just so I can make a proper farm and, and get like tinted glass and stuff going. But this ain't it. I'm out of torches. I'm also out of inventory space. I could go up and make the a diamond pick. But then I would have to go down and find obsidian and I would still not have you know, I would still need more diamonds for, for enchanting, which is really the purpose here. Alright, so that's the end of that. Okay, good. Okay, actually good, so that's enough. But not enough to do things well. Yeah, actually, I could I could make a pick. I could. That's a lot of zombies. Okay, um, I could make a pick. I could get the obsidian and then go up and then. What? Cheater. Then that would let me make the enchanting table up top of ten levels. That would at least like, give me like starting in chance. I probably should here because I'm like about to. I left my crafting table, I guess. No, nope, I didn't. I was just blind. It's fine. Um, well, I mean, that cleared up a little bit. We'll make this. This pick is done. Uh. This is fine. Dump you here. I kind of just want to go back up. Because I know there was... Oh, okay. Another one, alright. I know there was lava up, up a bit back, like... Oh, there's lava here too, but it's just one. But there was like lava pool, like right where we came in. Oh. 
not really got any reason to try to get lava here from like individual sources. That's a dark, dark, dark area up there. And I like to light it up a little bit if I can. Nice. Yeah, I'm blind the mode. We need many emotes. I'm super behind on it. For good reasons, but uh, yeah, still super behind. Don't care about getting more lapis. Um, a little bit lost here? Oh, there? Kind of looking for this where I came down, which I think is. Uh, yeah, there's the lava pool. Here's where I fought that jumping creeper. Those sounds are. Hi, hello. I saw slime over there, but I guess that might not have been it. Ugh, really? Well, spare the bones, which is what I cared about. Yeah. Really? I'm just like stuck in this water stream that leads up. Is you're like spawning behind here or something? No, there's actually <laughs> actually a piece back here. Okay, that's all right. Don't really love this, but can't really do much about it. Go away. Thank you. Um, gotta go in here, I think. I need to toss something. Um, I should. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's stupid. As I don't need a second boat. We'll keep one here. Might capture some mobs if they do end up here. Cook the iron. I don't need more iron cooked. You can do that upstairs. I don't want to juggle that here. I guess it would stack up, right? 20, 30, yeah, I would, but it doesn't matter. It won't take this that long. Yeah, but we don't really need to care about that. It's fine. I will take this. Come on, there we go. Okay. And now we leave. For from the first cave expedition, I think we can call that a success. Hello, glow squids. Wouldn't mind having some of your stuff. Nice glowy signs. Uh, what, what? Um. You gotta be quick before the axolotls kill all of you. Uh, or I should be. There should be one more here somewhere. There. Okay. Um, can I find my way back out of this thing though? That's the question. You know what? 
You know what? We bring you. I don't really need the bucket anymore. So I just came down like a random hole into this cave. Um, it was like a one by one by one hole down. I don't know if that's a reasonable thing to find. light here. Let's just glow like and could also try to just dig up. Hmm. I guess I just explore and see if I find that's also just glow like and if I find something that goes up we'll try to follow that hey, yo. I don't know. Yay. Would mind more, uh. Would mind more uh, redstone, but I kind of feel like I'm on the clock now, trying to get up because I have this potion active. So I'm not gonna care more. Where am I? 27. And this goes up a little bit, so I guess it's good somehow. Eventually, we're just high up enough. 40, like, we could probably just dig up from here, if need be. Which kind of looks like the case, really. <laughs> let's, let's do that. I don't know if this is reasonable to... Thanks. Thanks, game. Where am I? 35.55 Okay, fine. L let me swim. We're out. It's night time. I don't have a boat anymore. <laughs> I left it. Yeah, they pulse when you hit them. Creeper and a spider over there. Uh, I can't really see, but I think this is fine. Hi, hello. Nice. Are you hyped about Starfield? I'm hyped is maybe the wrong word. I'm cautiously optimistic <laughs> while we wait for more info and like see. It it could could definitely be a you know eater of Oh I had two obsidian, I forgot. Alright, well it's it's fine. That wouldn't have saved so much time anyway. Now we still have two obsidian, which is good, I suppose. I didn't see all the Starfield direct. Now I watched the kind of the main showcase, what the, the Xbox showcase, and then I watched the start of the Starfield direct. But it was uh, stream time for me, so I didn't watch it. Um, but I uh, should go back and watch it. All right, so we got twelve levels, which isn't like. It isn't a lot. I think I want to focus on survivability. I should make a new shield also for the same reason. So I think we'll just toss protection one on here. Just for a slight bit of more survivability. Uh, and let's do this.
these are pretty doing fine. Yield is taking a beating, so we'll just make a new one. And we dash the one we're holding. And that might be something we use later. Um, these are supposed to be in the bottom chest. We can toss these things in here too. Grab a couple of these. Make the spyglass. Heck yeah. Like, Starfield is the kind of game that is definitely, you know, has the potential to be a, a time eater. Like, uh, I, I specifically chose to skip Skyrim because I knew I could either not play it or I could only play it. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? If you make a new Power One Bow, that would be easy. What do I get on this? I should should level this up, shouldn't I? I have 27 book shades, book, uh, 27 books, so I can make a bunch of bookshelves. I don't know how many I want. Well, that we should move this. Um, let's let's just have that set up over here. I guess we'll. So that's up to nine and now I have 11 levels, so I could probably go a little higher, but that's efficiency too. I'm doubtful I'll get better. We'll, we'll maybe try. Seven. 12. So still, still efficiency two on 12. Um, so I want to do this, I think. That's six now. Wait. And that's 12. How? Seven. What? Okay, hold on. We'll, we'll just actually break them and lose the wood. I, it's fine. This is what I had. How's that nine? Uh, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. We'll take it, because efficiency 2 is really solid this early. No, I didn't, I didn't play Skyrim. Obviously, I've, I've seen a lot of Skyrim being played and stuff, so, you know, it's not like I haven't played Skyrim, uh, that I don't know about Skyrim, but uh, I know I could put, like, years <laughs> into just Skyrim. Um, so what do I do now? Armor piece is still too good for me. I could make another bow. I could, I guess, make an axe. If I can get unbreaking on an iron axe, that would be nice, I suppose. So I guess we make an iron axe. We make uh, an iron shovel. Makes a lot of sense to me. And I can't get what I really want on this, but I could get at least Unbreaking. Yeah, we get Unbreaking 1, that's this. Which we'll have to do. Uh, and... I think we have efficiency here. The reason I put unbreaking on here is because I use it as a weapon. Right? So I don't mainly... I, maybe I should make another one and put efficiency on that, right? For, for getting wood, but... The main purpose of this is for fighting. Prep renewable food? Uh, maybe. Like, there's a lot of farming stuff that I definitely should get on, and I don't know which order. What time is it? It's fine. Hi, Lily. Good start in hardcore. I know people were uh, at Fallout 76 but when you learn it was basically running the same code as Fallout 4. It makes sense why it's so janky. Uh, I I had big reservations about Fallout 76, but not because of how it ran, but because of 
their design choices. Like, there were some really bad design choices in there. I wasn't saving my first axe. I saved, I'm saving the series of pickaxes. That's that's what I'm going for. The first axe is gone. I think that's the one I threw away in the in the in the cave. Hmm. And also, like as a game developer, I will say this: like if you're selling your game as a multiplayer game, it's on you to make sure that it works. Like. I reused a, an engine and it was a poor choice is not a good excuse. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what I want to do here. One thing I feel like is I'm likely going to want to basically flatten over this terrain a whole bunch. Might actually want to take down these trees to just get a solid amount of wood and then have a bunch of dirt and stuff for farms and such. And at that point, it kind of makes a lot of sense. What? What are you? S silly. Uh. Yeah. So I have uh, I have uh, the pickaxe of destiny, uh, the pickaxe of destiny level two and level three here. So you know, I guess this one should be level four, but I don't care about that right now. Um. Yeah, but what I'm saying is it's Bethesda's on Bethesda to communicate properly about there. Why is every single single skeleton dropping their bow? Uh, it's on them to communicate about their titles, right? I will need these. I'm breaking, I'm breaking. Efficiency 2 on level 6. That is tempting, actually, and uh, level six is not far away. I have some string. I think I should do some fishing here. That could also give us some good resources. And it will give us XP. Fishing stream. I was hoping to break your chest boat. <laughs> uh, scuba. Sniping skeleton. Hey, fishy business. I don't wouldn't mind having some some uh, fish. Partly food, partly cat taming material. Mostly cat taming material. Conduit would be handy for that. I prefer. Yeah, that that would be fine too. Although, I don't know. I don't feel like that's like important. So we do have the portal over there, which would be an easy way, easy place to go and pick up some more obsidian if I just want to put another portal here. But I kind of feel like we might do that. Um, we might do that for next time. Because I don't want to start a big nether run now, because we're closing in on the tail end of the stream. Yeah, yeah. I mean, kitties are, you know, the purpose of everything, so... You gotta go get a kitty. I'm, I think I screenshotted where that... Uh, that Taiga Village was. <laughs> of course I get a saddle immediately from, from that, but I didn't pick it up. Love that hot bar door stick. I really don't care about what's on it. <laughs> I guess the reason to do this is to see what I pick up. We're level 6 by the way, I can, can make that axe, so like it's very quick. I should actually. Even if I want to keep fishing, I should. Hey, a string. So useful. Um, yeah, let's do it. This and this for efficiency two. Thank you very much. And that's my chopping axe. It's going to not last very long, but it's going to allow me to take down much of this forest pretty quickly. Um... I need I need a new, I need a chest. Okay, we take what do we do? We take all the food stuff and we put them in a different chest. I think. I feel like that's probably a good play here. 
food and farming stuff. Ah, we can take these two then. That's just a rare item, so I don't care about it. Okay, bones can go in here. This can go in here. I guess I'll hold on to the two arrows. Part of me is feeling like uh, just a general mob system might be a nice kind of early thing to do also. But I don't know, probably... Probably we'll go nether, try to kind of burst through the through the game. You know, get to the end. Do those things first, and then we can start farming stuff. Uh, where's the actual... So much wood. Why have you started doing that? It's very annoying. I gotta figure out how to fix that. Are you going to try and make a lot of farms? Yeah, yeah. I, I have a lot of things I want to farm, basically. Also, I really want, like, to do some of the new stuff with bamboo. Um, but I still haven't managed to find any bamboo, which is a little unfortunate. Um, I don't know how I should go about this, like which direction I should try to... Because I do want to pick up a bunch of saplings from this, but... Thanks, you don't have to tell me how to turn my system sounds off, that's not the point. I want to get rid of the notification that does the thing, right? I want to turn the sounds off. Trust me, I, I know how to handle my computer. It's better when that noise means you're streaming TTS software crashed again. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Now it just means random thing that shouldn't be doing notifications does notifications. <laughs> Man, that was that, those were the dark ages. For those of you who weren't around, that was a, like a, just when I switched away from using Streamlabs because Streamlabs kind of assholes. Um, Yay! I had to completely reset up my streaming software from scratch, and I built a bunch of it like myself to like make it fit properly with how things were working. And I wanted it to run. I wanted to avoid. Uh, getting, like, dependent on some other online service, basically. Yay. And, uh... Yeah, the only software I found that was good to build it on turned out to be extremely unstable and poorly made. Uh, but now I'm kind of locked into that instead, so, you know. <laughs> Microsoft employee has no idea about Windows. Well, uh, I, I don't know. I... I no comment. <laughs> Which service? What do you mean? It's a... It's, so... I can't remember the name of it now because they changed it. Um, but what, what I use is a lo like a program on my computer, an app, to connect a bunch of stuff between Twitch notifications, um, hotkeys and OBS basically, and like uh, kind of a Stream Deck-like interface. Um, so that I can immediately have, like, triggers from chat and from, you know, bits and stuff immediately go into, like, OBS. Trigger a scene change in OBS or trigger a, um, a visibility of a source in OBS and stuff like that. 
so that way I have basically all of my stream notifications are controlled by my computer on me. There's nothing like, there's no web GUI display that like takes forever and runs all your system resources into the ground. And it also means I can have like really cool full screen clips as, uh, as like my raid notification and stuff. Whereas if I had gone with stream elements or something instead, they had like a restricted area and like it's it's online stuff, so the quality is always really poor. Does the do you have a favorite method of mob farming? It depends on it depends on the situation. I'm used. To, I've done a lot of um, pathfinding based mob farms recently but that was also very much because i've been in like in narrow challenges where using water for instance would have been very hard like i've done first skyblock and then uh or first uh, ethos challenge and then skyblock we're about to run out of this pickaxe after like four trees <laughs> or like axe not pickaxe oh, there we go we'll start using this as a vine Part of that description sounded a little bit like we can move around and toggle over your on-screen elements. Well. I didn't say full control. <laughs> but like, that's how all the uh, the bit notifications and all the, the bit sounds, right? Those are also controlled by the same system. Like all the jump scares and stuff. Did I miss one? No, it's just very dense here. Got 18 saplings, that's pretty good. No, not this, not the little mango skyblock. I talked at length about that. If you wanna, if you wanna see it, you can go watch my rant about like why I disliked the various different skyblock variants and want to make my own, <laughs> which we might do in my like when I get time off here in a couple of weeks. Um, might dedicate some time for that, but yeah, I'm not gonna repeat my rant. <laughs> People have been around a lot are probably just tired of it. Oh, there's a stick. Okay, fine. Okay, that's looking pretty good. You're getting a good amount of saplings and stuff from this, too. Terra Firma crafted crate? Really? I haven't heard it yet. <laughs> okay, oh boy. All right, here we go. So I'll, I'll, the short summary is I, I really enjoy and like the concept of Skyblock because it makes you create something out of like it makes you create everything out of nothing and it showcases knowledge about vanilla mechanics that are otherwise sometimes rarely used now the mod i played was not that or not the mod the 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 map i played was not that it was um bridging simulator over void to get a bunch of stuff for free um so, like, it skipped so many things that could have been challenges, but then turned out to not be, because, like, the mod author just decided that the game was about um, getting enough material so that you can bridge to stuff. Um, so that was my that was my reservations about that data pack, or that, that map. Um, and then Il Mango's thing is, like, it's more of an attempt at 100% coverage in a skyblock setting of all of the items in the game, which I'm completely uninterested in. I'm completely uninterested in basically a mod pack that adds stuff Sky Factory style, because that's what they ended up with, right? It's like vanilla plus a bunch of other stuff to get a bunch of stuff that you can't otherwise get, which is like, I, I don't care. I don't, I don't, that's not what I want out of skyblock, so. Neither of those experiences is what I'm looking for, which is why I'm why I was talking about making my own. All right, that's pretty good. Um, 
I think we're gonna wrap this here though for uh, the hardcore. Um, I think uh, I, I will definitely be playing this more. I don't know what we'll be doing tomorrow on stream. Uh, Kira was away now, so there's a lot like less like times that I need to to adhere to. So I might I might have more time. Would you want to run vanilla or some modifications? I, I want to run vanilla. I want to I want to so I want my sky block map to be as much about vanilla as possible and to be as little freebies as possible. But then there's a balance of that between that and like becoming in, uh, excessively grindy. Right? So I kind of want to find a balance between giving you too much and giving you too little, I guess. But the thing is, the satisfaction of being able to conquer a skyblock and making basically a ton of stuff in the game from Yay. almost nothing is very cool to me. So, yeah, we'll see. Does it have to be a map? I'm thinking... I'm, I have an idea of how to make it a generic data pack, so it would work on any map, but that would... Um, that would be... Uh, it might not work, because it's like... It relies on a bunch of experimental stuff in the game, so... We'll see. We'll see. But that's something I will probably be exploring in a, in a few weeks, maybe. So, um, yeah. But I just I just had a lot of opinions about the map, the skyblock map that I played. Getting first water is re rewarding, yeah. Like, and the first water is gifted on that map, right? So that's one of the things I'm kind of struggling with. Is is should I force you to get your first water, or should I give you the first water? So that's the kind of design things I'm I'm thinking about. Um, anyway. We are going to call hardcore here, and uh, as I've done on the last few, um, the last few, like the last week of streams, I guess, um, is uh, we've been playing GeoGuessr, um, doing the daily challenge, which has been pretty cool, and people have been really enjoying it. So I'm going to do it today too. Um, we kind of figure out if people like it or not. Um, if you haven't seen it, this is a good intro to the game. Uh, I do really recommend it. It's very enjoyable, but it's also a very different kind of game. So we're going to switch over to that. I think we can do that without a pause, actually. Um, the uh, the reason I don't want to play too long here, we have only done like two and a half hours of, of this world, which is very short for a start, is that um, I do have work tomorrow. So I don't want the stream to end up too long. And I really don't want to play my hardcore world when I'm not like feeling 100% because that's how I have lost several challenges before. So it just, just kind of suck. Um, so let's switch the category to Geo Guesser. There we go. Um, let's switch our title. And one of the reasons, by the way, that we have started doing other games is this uh, clockwork challenge. So see you, Lightning. Um, so yeah, I'm doing the, the like clockwork, um, at achievement, I guess, a uh, challenge on Twitch, um, which involves the streaming a lot of different days. And one of the reasons I said that I could do that was that I'm just going to do what the heck I want on my non normal stream days. And so we've done a bunch of GeoGuessr, we've done a little bit of Civilization 6 and stuff. Uh, let's see, switch those, done good all right what do you think about super flat no structures challenge uh depends on the super flat could be fun could might not be fun uh let me see this is my window we're gonna get it here let's try this does that work out yes it does good then we can switch to this a community world is what we like. I did a showcase playthrough of that, talking about some of the the metas I use and stuff before. Uh, so that's what we were doing yesterday. I kind of was waiting for the replay to save in Minecraft. Maybe that's fine. So 
This is a GeoGuessr. It's a web-based game, um, and as I very much recommend it. It is kind of the reverse of having a map and and going to Google Street Views. Um, so basically, you get plonked into uh, right. I still don't know who this is. <laughs> uh, you get you get plonked into somewhere on in the world in Google Street View, and you're supposed to pin down on a map where you are. Um, this is not a no spoilers from chat because I will be minimizing my chat while I'm playing the rounds. So uh, if you've played the daily challenge, I would suggest that you don't spoil it for the other people in the chat. Um, however, if you if you're just wanting like watching it on the stream and you want to like guess along, that's all fine. Um, hardcore S1 done quit. There we go. Uh, so. I'll be playing, so it's five rounds. We have three minutes per round um, and I will be minimizing chat and then I'll be uh, taking chat back up after each round so we can talk about it and I can read through whatever you said and how badly I did and whatever. <laughs> so a uh, bunch of people have played it. That's nice. Um, uh, I've, I've had a really poor streak of uh, dropping into silver for four days in a row and then a couple of gold days. So hopefully we can keep keep that slightly better streak up. So let's play to get today's challenge. I'm going to minimize the chat for the first one. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go. I'm, I'm kind of uh, I'm focused a lot on the actual challenge in, in the three minutes and I'll try to explain why I went where I went and why I kind of drew the conclusions I did after the round. So feel free to ask, like, how the heck did you know that? Or why did you think that? Uh, but I might not answer it until... Well, I will not answer it until after the round because I won't see them. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. First round is a horror show. Uh, great. It's trekker coverage is always bad. Um, we're on some kind of height. light-skinned people but could it could just be could just be like tourists also um happy at least it's maybe two different scripts oh god what get a cactus Okay, this is awful. Trekker covers is usually pretty bad, so we're on some height. Can I just, like, back a couple of... Uh... Is that ocean? I don't... We might have ocean north. God, what? Um... We don't really have a sun either, so I don't know if, which hemisphere we're on even. Okay. Alright. So, so, Punta Carola... Punta Carola Point. San Cristobal. Wait. Uh, San Cristobal. Um, is that... Uh, wait, where's that? I recognize it, but I can't place it. I was thinking of one of these islands, but it's apparently not. My initial thought was Mexico, but... Ocean North, San Cristobal. I don't know, though. I don't know. Punta Carola. Could this just be over like here? No, everything here is called Santa Cruz. Uh I have no idea. I think we're maybe further south down here, but I, I have no idea. 
on this island. Okay. Alright, well, like, uh, Trekker just sucks. Trekker sucks. Uh, that's all I got. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, trying to find where I where I minimize is quite a bit up. I did better here because I did not guess Canada when it was Europe. Well, this, that's a good start. Russia or no Russia? We'll we'll find out. Uh, Boo silver. I never got that. Well, you know, you also haven't played like two hundred days in a row. Did that say .pt for Portugal? I would guess not. I don't know what this... There's San Cristobal. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if you know a lot of locations, then you're better. I, these might belong to Peru, I guess, and if it said PU. Rip, you went the wrong way. Okay. Well, there you go, then. Galapagos. I saw a sign that spent a lot of time looking for that label on the map. That's how I got zero points. Yeah. Got the Allen chain, but not the correct one. Same here. One way that gives a sign for the Allen chain. Uh, oh, well. There was an information hut the other way. Rip. There is a sign saying Galapagos right at the start. Really? With a lot of text. There was a better sign. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's 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 why moving games are more random in this. Oh, PT just stands for points. There you go. Or look, clue me. In. Okay, whatever. That's a terrible start, but uh, uh, yeah, Trekker sucks. I hate it. Uh, European city. Can't see the language. Still can't see their language. White sign. Uh, Zona. Give me a street sign. Really? They're all like there's trees in the way of every single <laughs> every single road name. And it's blurred. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Those? Uh... So we get Cyrillic names on the, on this... Right? This is... Clearly... Why, why is it behind something in every single angle? Yeah, uh... That's just Cyrillic. Uh, blue strips on the cars. Hold on. That looks good. What's our car? Invisible. Really? Why are you blurring everything? Uh... Partially unblurred. Which one of them is that? Hold on. So, are we actually here? No, that would... Oh man, that was so bad. Grab? 
we really here? Well, that was a last minute save. I... I need to be better at flags, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, I also... The, the plates didn't match for me, but I guess, yeah. Alright, let's see what people said. Well, not right, right at start, but within like 100 meters the other direction. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing, though, right? You, 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 you randomize. Like, you can't really... Some places, like, especially those trekker ones, you can't know. You can't know which way to go. I saw Sir Lick and something with the Vienna, which was Hungary last time that happened, so I guess there. Yeah, like... Hungary... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I would normally say both Cyrillic and uh, Latin would normally mean Bulgaria to me most of the time. But then you would have both on the street signs, which you didn't really have now. Definitely not Prague if you have Cyrillic. And the tram mentioned in Switzerland. Yeah, I mean, it's the same as yesterday, where it's like, like all kinds of like weird things. The problem with that, like, I guess the Serbian flag looks like that. The uh, the Slovakian flag and the Slovenian flag, I think, are both kind of the same. It's like the same three stripes with different small little symbols on them. So like, thanks. Learn to have a unique flag. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. That's a good score though. But it was that was close. <laughs> Uh, move on. Moving on. Next round. Round three is another Trekker one. I love it. I love it. Which one of all the dang forts is this then? Oops. Really? Can we, can we actually move the direction I'm clicking? Thank you. What the heck is this car? Wow. Yellow back place, I can't go there. Okay, good. Um, wait, is there like an entrance here? Laboratory? You're... Heil Mosaic Laboratory. That is not useful, I think. Okay, maybe. God dang, what's... Why, why... Trekker Daily here, come on. Give me to the sign. That is completely 100% unhelpful. Uh... <laughs> Just a different price if you're a foreigner. Great. Uh... Dude, there was a perfect sign there and it, like, you just... Please identify yourself. Timings, museum timings. And it's just like bouncing all over the place. Like, I don't know what this is, but. The only thing I've got is this, and there's like, where is that? Here. Can we actually thank you? Does this match up? Oh, I hate this. Uh, we'll do that, then we return to start. Uh, and we do this. Yeah, that matches up. The angle matches up. And we're outside of the northern side, so we'd be like. Are we we're but we're on the wall. There's these. Uh there's probably one up in the corner, and there's one here. So we're like this show yeah they do so this is corner here so we're like there's a little x thing here we're right in between these two can we see those things down there there's nothing there wait is this one of them or is that just okay let's find up here uh i don't think there's one more so we're like here Right on. Alright. 
<laughs> you managed to escape. Hold on. Um, tough one, this. This one's awful. I couldn't escape this place. Yeah, this tracker for you. Blurring is free for you. Very aggressive. Yeah, maybe. It's different in different places. I'm riding on the bag. Uh, arrows or something's wrong. Yeah, yeah. Pakistan, yes. Mosaic, India, or Pakistan. Yeah, so... Um... <laughs> Did you get the city's name or something? No, I did not. I mean, I looked away. How the hell did you find this? Very good. Um, so maybe we go back uh, or uh, I can just try to explain. So we, we wandered past the car. The car had Arabic script. Uh, the It looked very much, the vibes were very much like Indian or, or Pakistani or um, Indian, Pakistani or, uh, or Bangladesh, maybe, but mostly Indian or Pakistani. Uh, but Arabic script just means you're on the Pakistani side. Clothing can separate the kind of Indian standard clothing as kind of different from Pakistani. There is a lot of people wearing like baggy pants and stuff. And essentially Lahore is the only place in Pakistan that has any kind of coverage. I know from previous rounds that there's this fort around and I've never, I don't think we've been here, but I think we've been like, uh, close to it. Um, and then I lined up the the directions of the walls to to get the exact spot. But yeah, it's a combination of kind of vibes, people, and script. So magic got it. <laughs> sure. All right. Round four. Uh. K M cargo. Um, okay, the sign could help if I can get there. Uh, maybe to help? Wait, uh, I don't, I don't know. Can we, can we actually get to this bus? Hold on. A little red? Arif? Really? And we're just, just, uh, Sauda Tarifa Malcher. Sun kind of looks north, but it's pretty unhelpful, to be honest. It's mostly, uh, it, could, it could just be morning or evening or something. Who knows? Uh, that looks Brazilian to me. Para, South America. Holes generally don't really match up. And give me some form of. What the heck did you just do? Just, just move. Give me some text. Thank you. Uh, Brazil. Great. Um, don't love that. Give me a phone number or give me a... Amazonas. All right, so... Oh, uh, the fans. I don't know. Like it, it might just not be. Patria Amada is, is that like? That's not anything, is it? Manaus. Okay, so we're in the right place. Uh, this is a pretty big road. That we're like parallel to here, so we step out here. There's water to our south. It's directly like this. Uh, what? It's gonna be down here then? 
It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't match up, but I don't have much options. I saw it just in time, but then I couldn't click in time. Dang it. I saw this little stretch with water there. Dang it. I could have basically 5k'd it. Two more seconds. Oh, <laughs> that's annoying. That's annoying. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> this is so American. And quite a lot of GeoGuessr knowledge. Yeah, that too. No, the shirt must be USA. <laughs> Go watch a pro GeoGuessr player. They get the location based on the color of grass. Yeah, absolutely. Or, you know, a lot of things. So the, there's just an infinite amount of stuff you can learn that will help. Except for those red buildings, Bahamas. Yeah, so then... I'm glad I got the country right, at least for this one. Yeah. Brazil takes a lot of effort to, like, endpoint stuff in. It's weird how Spanish text basically guarantees a continent, which is not the one in Spain on it. That wasn't Spanish, though. That was Portuguese. And para is stop in South America, but S Spain uses stop. <laughs> so, And uh, also alto is a different word used for stop in Spanish, but also in Mexico. So, you know, it's not just Spanish. You're on fire today? Well, I completely flubbed the first one, though, so it's still gonna, not going to be a good score. <laughs> Half a year of practice, I guess. Yeah, that's the daily streak. I played a bunch before that too, before I decided that, that I should like actually try to do the daily every day. Uh, I'm salty about this though. I saw the place and I was trying to get there and click, but I couldn't in time. All right, last round. Yellow Outer Alliance, but it's town. So does uh, Pare again. Weird black plates. Bacada the distillery tour? Um, no front plates. I want to say we're in Puerto Rico here. Those poles are weird. I'm just going to plonk here for a second. Okay, hold on. This car could be very helpful. Rescate Calano, maybe? Maybe Catan Catano. Is this is that a is that something? I don't know. We might not even be here. Tsunami Ruta de Desco. 7 million something. Okay, let's, uh, let's move. Actually, water, some river on the side of there. Is that a thing here somewhere? I mean, it could be here. But, yeah. Cantano? Okay, we're definitely here somewhere then. Can we? This turns slightly to our south. We're actually right here. <clears throat> it kind of feels too large. That's turning in the wrong way. Here? It turns too much. Okay, I think this is the best bet this far, but... Okay, splits, and it's pretty large here, actually. Or is that just a split here? This doesn't split. Okay, we're maybe not there. Like we're we're here somewhere though. Like the water's supposed to be on our eastern side. Can be that, no.
Um, I don't know. We're, we're reasonably same. Okay, cool. Was not a, a this channel thing at all, but that's still good. There was something with Sao here. I placed my in the area with all the Sao cities, but that was far away. Yeah, but that's just a super common Brazilian word. <laughs> or, like, Portuguese word. It's everywhere in Brazil. You're still getting some better score than most people, though? Yeah, maybe. But, you know, I, I don't compare myself to others generally. Like, I'm going to be satisfied or not based on my own, you know, comparisons to me. Jamaica, the distillery gives it away. No way to Bermuda. Went to the Bacardi place, hoping it was for tourists and would say country or name, and then couldn't continue. Oh no. Country and or city, yeah. Northeast Puerto Rico or Canal, yeah. I mean... Two minute round or zero meters? GG, 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 nice, nice, nice. <laughs> that was a hard day, yes. Over 24,900 points today. I completely flubbed the first round. I completely, completely messed up the first round and got like 900 points, so so very much no. And the first round was awful. It was trekker garbage, so you know. I went the wrong way and got no info. <laughs> Still beat... 20,000, so that's good. Apparently an Expeditioner. That's nice. Almost 21,000. Still down in silver. Which, to me, kind of sucks. Like this. Oh well. Still almost off, which is interesting. I really want to see these. I want to see how much everybody was just, like, all over the shop. <laughs> so Jay was the only one who beat me with 22,100... 38, so I'll, you know, I'll take that. Lots of people finding this stuff. Nobody finding the right island. So actually, people getting the name. I got I got the name of the island itself. <laughs> so I got the better info if I had known where that was. But, you know. Uh, a bunch of people in Ecuador maybe got some info there. Um, me way over here. And... Uh... Taking a bath. But a fair enough hedge, I suppose. Uh, two was... Which one was two? Two was here, right? Yeah. J, almost on the right street. One block over, very nice. <laughs> lost one point me in the right area more by left than anything else so plonked Belgrade from space uh, Clover on the Belgrade name <laughs> which might just be a, a plonk on the city um, yeah a bunch of people finding it eventually that's uh, Bratislava that's, that's fair but flag is ex extremely similar, like I said. Poland would never have uh, Cyrillic, and neither would Slovakia. So that's kind of how I I took it. Neither Romania doesn't have that. Very much understand this guess. Bulgaria would have been my initial guess from just seeing both uh, Latin script and Cyrillic. But then didn't match up. Still, everybody kind of Reasonably centered here. This is pretty nice. Three was here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I, I got I got decent on this. Pink also pretty close. I don't know why. I don't know why you go here then. If that's just a, a random click, because like you're close enough to see the fort. Pakistan only has Lahore. KJ and Black Score on the right city. And then it goes every direction, which is understandable. Nepal does not have coverage. 
clover out in the right country, but in a part of it that doesn't have coverage. Uh, Jock in Sri Lanka, which um, that's a that's a fair thing if you don't know the languages, I guess. The thing that pins the, here in this whole region for me is is the Arabic script, and then two other places where you could also find Arabic, which is fair. Like the vibes are pretty clear to me, but that's a uh, just a uh, very much an experience thing. I couldn't remember the name, so I hedged the middle. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> just blinds just flipping all over the place from zooming out. Nice. All right, and the last one was Puerto Rico, which honestly, so I picked this on uh, Spanish speaking, no front plates and then vibes. How many languages do you speak? Two, really. I have studied two more, but only to the level of very basic um, understanding. I know a bit of German. I know a bit of Spanish and I know Swedish and, and English. But you can learn a lot from like just like absorbing slight parts of languages. Like just learning the learning the 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 word for road. I saw a pata sign and you said it's only South America. I said it's only South America and and these two islands. <laughs> but yeah. Again, like there are exceptions to most things. So that is uh, no one right? Second place, very close. It's nice. Giggy Pink and Clover also pinning Puerto Rico. I don't. This is just like a middle of the country guess, I guess. Yeah, this is like basically clicking Puerto Rico. Um, sure. I don't know what that is even. But, you know, it's a close guess. Dominican Republic. I would take that as on car meta because there's a very distinct car in Dominican Republic. I just saw Puerto Rico on a house. That's, um, you know, a pretty good clue. Uh, Ecuador. Brazil. Fair. It was, it was tough to find, like, language here. So I, I could see... I plunked Middle America with that info. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Uh, I kind of often take Puerto Rico on... It's Spanish, but it looks like the US. <laughs> and it's the only place around here that doesn't have any front plates, so... I've zoomed in and accidentally plonked in DR instead of Puerto Rico. Yeah, that, that happens. <laughs> I've gone... I think I went the other way. I think I went to Puerto Rico instead of DR once. Still, like without this garbage, this would have been a really good, really, really, really good round. Like it's two points lost, 5k, 14 points lost, and seven points lost on, on the last ones. It's only the one, the first one that's like bad. Memorizing license place, colors, and styles on which side of the road they drive on would get you really far in GeoGuessr. That's true. Um, I don't know many. <laughs> um, I know a few. And it helps a lot. It's like, uh, I'm really bad at, at the US and Canada because I can't be bothered to learn all their license plates. <laughs> Alright, but well, that was still pretty good. That's still pretty good. It's 11.30. Do we have time for like one map? run around or something let's maybe do that so uh, thanks for playing everybody this this was fun if you want to play like if you want to be on the screen you can send me a friend request if i know who you are i will accept it if i don't know who you are you should probably say it in chat <laughs> um 183 days i'm pretty dissatisfied with the last week though and yeah like i, I don't know like i I can't do much about that trek around. Two trek arounds. You know, for where you live, which is the most important. Well, I mean, you don't even that. Even that is not very important because you just 
send you a request name will does all right cool cool so the thing I've been doing lately is the map runner game mode, which is this like you choose a challenge, you do one round on that and you do move on. So this is round 10. The, the thing that I've been doing is chat chooses where I go. So the first choice is big cities one minute, signs three minutes or flags two minutes. And you get to choose by shouting it out in, in the chat. And meanwhile, I'm going to change the stream title. All right, what we got? Flags, flags, big cities, flags, flags, big cities, signs, flags, flag, flags, signs. Sounds like flags is the thing. Two minutes. I am bad at flags. <laughs> I often get away with it because I'm good at stuff around the flag, but... And sometimes there isn't even a flag, and sometimes the flag is barely visible, and sometimes the flag is Canadian, which helps about zero. All right, two minutes. Let's go. Uh... So we got water to our east and south. But th there's stuff behind the water, so that's interesting. This is like a harbor thing inside. That doesn't really help me. The ships say something about where we are. Moby Carbogo. That doesn't really... Like, welcome to the city would be fantastic here. Uh, but I don't know. I should, should plonk something, though. Just to have something... Maybe we here, I guess. Okay, that, that sounds sounds like something. What? It... Portual sistema portuale. Stazione marittima. That's also unhelpful. Center of town this way okay good but like which town and that's not the center of town <laughs> it's on to the dang ferry um costa esmeralda beach tour hop on hop off okay uh Are we like out here? I don't know. I guess I'm staying put. Could easily be anywhere. I could be, be here might be more likely, but I, I don't know. We're staying put. Yeah, it was on the island. How did this thing harbor look? Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking that it was on the island, but then like I couldn't. Oops, I couldn't find any place where, where it made sense for it to be. But yeah, I guess I just didn't zoom in enough to see this. All right, that's fine. We lost one thousand two hundred. Okay, I don't know my own country. I suck. <laughs> hey, that's uh, you know, that, that's how it goes. That's, that's all good. All right, so we now get all of that energy right back because that's the only thing I can choose. And then and the only thing I can choose is world three minutes. So let's go. Uh, what? Really? Okay. Um, so where are we here? Are we just in capital? Like here? Spacious and modernized. Architects 49. Sure. Is that a beat number? Uh, you know. This has to be capital, surely. Q. 
Tsinghua School. I guess one of the can't. All right, okay, we don't, we don't have, <laughs> we don't have Latin script on those, so got really nothing here. Anytime fitness. Like this is pretty downtown, I would say. If Food World of Foods Supermarket. I really don't know. Long as middle as possible, I suppose. Could be a different city, I suppose. I've never seen this urban coverage from here, though. The Apple Tree International Kindergarten. Okay. Uh, the Japanese Mall. Well, that isn't helpful. This is super international, so... I guess I'm just gonna stay put here. Bambini Villa. Land of what? Land for rent. Content price. Okay, it's down here. That's fine. 18 MG. I would say that's pretty much downtown. That's not outskirts. <laughs> Thai flag, Thai script, yeah, yeah. Those were those were the easy things. Like the the flag and this the script is just immediate. But the, the problem with that is like, okay, I'm in Thailand. That doesn't really help that much, right? But then like, it just looked like it had to be Bangkok to me. All right, then a choice again. Circle marker that leads into these two. So left circle marker leads into European capitals or town squares. One uh, that's 18 energy, because <laughs> that's all that will fill up, leads to any of them. Or the right circle marker leads to town squares or world. Energy. Left. Left. Energy. Energy. Left. So it's a dead race between circle left and energy. A little left. Chat is cruel. True that. Left. Okay, it seems like we have slight, slight more left. All right, we'll go on left. We have a circle marker. That is three. That's good to remember. Uh, European capitals one minute or town squares 30 seconds. Yikes. Uh, if we go European capitals, we can only go energy after. Capitals, capitals, capitals. Squares. Town squares. <laughs> Dead race again. Someone break the deadlock. <laughs> Someone hasn't said anything yet. Shout out. <laughs> Okay, capitals. All right, we're going capitals. Mm. 
We're in Reykjavik. Close to the ocean on the north side. This is odd. I guess not. So I got here somewhere. That doesn't really make sense though, this area. Maybe down here? Because this is like the... Okay, it'll be up here, I guess. No. Wait, that... Yeah. That's the mountain. Which is like here. So we're like here? Go down look at the name if I can. There's no name. Hey, Plonk. Okay. It was actually down here. Huh. How do you know it's like Iceland? Alphabet and vibes. Also helps that I've been in Reykjavik. Um, the sign was also... We can open this. Um, so, immediately. This letter only exists in uh, Icelandic, as far as I know. Might exist in Faroese. So that's this, by the way. This kind of D but more centered or B but more centered and then this is the uh, those uh, this sign red with yellow is kind of like um, Iceland Sweden Finland language doesn't fit in any of the other two um, and there was something more that I thought of also wait wait that and yeah is a capital we know that and then there's, there's this. <laughs> like, also the houses look very much like that, but it's kind of vibe. So that's why. Alright, now we have to pick the energy, so we're back up to full. Now we have to pick two minutes, no no move a world. Alright, cool, let's go. Okay. Antana vehiculos compra something. Uh... Santana vehicles, okay. Lavanderia. Casino. That kind of looks Brazilian to me. It's kind of awful. Can we pin this as Brazil? Well, actually, if it is Brazil, that's kind of good, because we have 11 here. Which would mean... Uh, that we are 11, we are in Sao Paulo, or maybe actually Campinas. Lemao. Yeah, definitely that. Okay, so big street going kind of there. Can we? That makes sense. Uh, that makes sense. Could be any of these. Like, the nice thing is that, like, a lot of American cities are uh, grid-aligned, so you can kind of tell that, yes, this is aligned to this grid, which is, yeah, it makes sense that we'd be there. I mean, I, I don't have the right... I don't have the right city, or the right uh, place in the city, but still. Um, it turns here though. It turns to the west. Alright, it was somehow. Alright. Good enough, 200 energy, that's fine. And yeah, the phone codes really do help in Brazil. Two circle markers, or one, or, um, yeah, the rest of our energy. Back up to full, or two circle markers. Circle, more circle markers, circle, okay. Everybody's seeing markers, good. Capitals, two minutes. Uh, 164, 146 even. 
Uh, give me the sign. I think I know what it is. We're in Singapore. Uh, if I can, like, go to the right place, that would be helpful. Uh, CTE, SLETPE, CTE City, uh, setting on Road, Bartley Road, CTE. SLETPE, CTE. Uh, CT is this one. We're headed kind of south. Are we like here? SLETPE. Still the Expressway. So it makes sense that we're kind of here somewhere. Does that make sense with everything else? Maybe? Like here? What else? Upper Sengun Road and Barkley Road. There's no way those are findable, right? Salatar? It's not Sengun. So it's TPE. Where's where's the other one? Where's SLE? That sounds like this one, but I, I don't want to assume that. Okay, TPE. Pi. ECP. I don't know, this, like, we're gonna lose no points anyway, because it's, you know, it's Singapore. <laughs> On a world map. Yeah, it's right down here, holy smokes. Okay, and we lost 22 energy. How do you know Singapore? I'm always way off as when Singapore. Uh, these road names are super distinctive to me. These like three, three letter road names. They also have a very particular font on their signs and these green blue signs. So those are kind of this, this Singaporean. Driving the lap. Yeah, that's, that's almost not necessary for Singapore because it's so so. Uh, also, if you if you end up there a bunch of times, it's very 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 distinctive looking. Like they have also uh, their their curbs are like black and white uh, striped and a bunch of stuff like that. They they have big letters often written on the streets. So they will say it will, it will be like hump right across the street. So yeah. Energy back up to full, and then clues, three minutes no move, or distance markers, two of them, and then choose. Distance markers. Distance, distance markers, this. Okay, we're going markers. And then clues to three minutes no move, or Europe three minute. We already have a clues vote. Close, close, close. Okay, close. Uh, what the heck is this? Bicycle World Texas. Iron Man. I mean, Waco with this. There's even a Texas in the world. Bunch of bridges over a river. This doesn't look like Houston to me. Rivers north. Going kind of... I is just good. It's not large enough for that though, right? What about Austin? This is much more likely. Like, the two bridges close to each other. Here looks reasonable. Like, if we're here. Am I going to be able to find anything else that makes me question is I'm just gonna go here okay we're in what oh Waco is a place okay never mind <laughs> GG today I learned 
Alright, that's fine. It was at least close, and we get everything back. Great. South America, one minute. Oh, great. Oh, good. Waco? Okay, fine. Today I learned that too. <laughs> Alright. So South America was very, for a very long time, South America was what basically my big weak point, right? I then put in effort to get better at South America, to which it isn't really that big of a weakness anymore. One minute could be rough, though. Yellow middle lines. Uh, weird signs? So what do they count South to South America here? Does GeoGuessr count like Central America to South America? Just like it's different from different places. Taxis could be helpful. Uh, okay, we have to start. Uh, okay. Maybe I just leak. Maybe I just. Maybe we're just doing that then. Okay. Well, <laughs> Colombia. It was not Colombia, and and I didn't know all that much more. The vibes were kind of Ecuador, Peru. Or even Bolivia, so uh, I I went with my vibe and used to power up, and yeah. <laughs> All right, three direction markers or two direction markers. Yeah, Colombia has yellow plates, a very distinctive mounting of of the back of road signs, which we did have one. Three, 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 two. Okay, we're doing three. Oceania, two minutes. Bird's eye view, three minutes. Or capitals, one minute. And the bird's eye view leads into all three, otherwise we have to go on the side we go. Bird's eye view, bird's eye view, bird. Okay, alright. That could be rough. There's there's enough votes on it. Okay, these are very hit and miss to me. Oh boy. Uh, this looks fantastic, and I have zero idea. Uh... Also, often on these birds, I view the sun direction, like the compass is incorrect. Um, sun seems to be kind of maybe slightly north, but that is unhelpful. If anything on the vibes here, I would guess like Philippines or something like that. I don't know about... Uh, maybe that's mostly because of the watercolor, though. I don't know about this vegetation. I'm gonna have to basically burn. Oh, I have the direction markers now. That's fine. We're we're, we're good. It's fine. It's fine. Um, how do I? Where? Here is maybe the best place. We're this direction. Okay. We're in New Zealand. Maybe that would make sense, but uh, I wouldn't have pinned that. I'm burning the last one. Yeah, okay. We're like here. Maybe? Um, Small river, smaller basin, larger thing that's more connected. Here? That kind of makes sense to me. Uh, does that match up? I don't know if it matches up. If it does, we're like here. Smaller island out. That would more likely be this one, but that doesn't really match up, does it? Unless we're here, but that doesn't match up either. 
Mm. It's too much water for that to be the case. This seems more likely. Maybe it's just like slightly off. Uh, I don't know. Alright, we're good. We're guessing. Okay, it's up here. Yeah, fair. Looks too warm for New Zealand. That's what I was thinking too, but yeah. Like these these uh, drone shots are just so difficult. Especially on a tight deadline, but I appreciate the power-ups for this. All right. Circle marker or direction marker. We have to go either middle or the side we pick. So circle marker leads into fire stations or cities and the direction marker leads into town squares or cities. Yeah, the trees, the trees were the, the thing that made me hesitate. Direction, direction, circle plus fire, direction into town squares. More direction. Cities or town squares. Cities one minute, town squares three minutes. So we have one vote for town squares. Squares, squares, cities. Squares, squares, squares. Town squares. Okay, town squares it is. Uh, that is a town square indeed. Opera Cerveceria. Restaurante Plaza Mayor. Don Camino. Um. I need to get, like get out of the square, I think. Lots of motorcycles. I was hoping for a TLD or something, but okay, here. Dot com, thank you. Murcia. That'll do. I don't know, like, what's what's this thing? Oops, don't spin me, please. Some form of cathedral or church? There's a sign on it. Iglesia de San Nicolas. To our south. Cathedral de Mercia, I doubt it's it. Not large enough. San Esteban. Like we're in here somewhere. The churches show up on the super zoomed in view though, so that's very tricky. Nothing there, really. Like, what if it's Plaza Mayor or something like that? Maybe that's more findable. Plaza and Guinness. Not really. All right, we're just gonna go like dab in the middle of it. Cause I can't find it. It's not even marked on the map. You have to zoom in super far. All right, cool, three energy. We actually in Spain, yes. Well, I mean, so that was like luck on the fact that the, the actual city name was on the sign and I knew about the city <laughs> this time. So, you know, 
Take it. Two direction markers or two direction markers both lead to the same thing. Okay, doesn't matter then. Uh, clues, 30 seconds no move or capitals, 30 seconds no move. Ouch. Clues, 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 capitals, capitals, clues, clues. Oh, looks like it's clues. What do I have? This is going to be rough. I have two, three direction markers and a distance marker and three circle. That, that should be okay. We can burn stuff here. Is there, we can burn stuff. It's fine. <sighs> okay. Clues is just such a... Uh, be a star, Dreamgate, Yokohama. Yokohama Stadium. Uh, where's that then? It's actually... A... Oh man, it's so little time. Uh, I have no idea, but this should be close enough. Baseball Stadium, it's not that, but... Okay, it's down. More downtown. Okay, fine. 19. Uh, yes, Japan, but, you know. Uh, jump, this two distance markers, or up to full energy. Both of these are both. If I do the energy, I can only do capitals. European capitals. Energy, distance, distance, distance. Distance, energy, distance. Looks like distance, okay. Fire stations, one minute, or European capitals, 30 seconds. Fire stations, fire stations, fire. Capitals, fire stations, fire stations. Nice, okay, hello. What the heck is this? Fire rescue something. Big mountains, yellow middle lines. Uh, give me something here. Way fire stations off ahead. Cozy loop. U.S. flag, unhelpful. Uh, what is the best we do here? Okay. We're in butt, maybe? I don't know. Not really, right? Like, maybe here? Oh, it's gonna be decently close enough. I don't know. I don't see the other thing. This is going like this, so maybe here. Okay. Lolo. Alright, we're in Lolo. Alright, cool. Bio. Alright, sure. So why would you spell stuff in a reasonable way for their pronunciation, you know? Alright, that, that worked out, but only due to that. But, but that's what you get. You're in the middle of the US somewhere and you have 30 seconds to, to plonk. I don't know. Um, third, circle marker or three distance markers? Both lead into both. Circle. Distance. Distance, circle, distance, distance, okay, distance. Capitals or signs, capitals 30 seconds or signs three minutes. One for capitals, capitals. Signs, capitals, signs, signs, signs. Do you have one more for signs right now? All right, we're going. Stop on the stop sign. Yellow outer lines. There's a sign, but it's not even a street sign. It's just a, an advertisement board. Uh, wrong continent, wrong continent there too. Is there a continent in between, please? Um, Blomfontein is 140 kilometers one way. Lady Brand is another one. Okay. that. That's like unhelpful. Blomfontein is west northwest. Because we need to find this Lady Brand. Lady Brand, I'll say what? Lady Brand is here. 
and there's an intersection we're coming into it from the south I mean does this even really help I can't I can't please n8 we're on the n8 I mean I guess here this is a big intersection we're like here all right we're actually in the in the middle of like between the roads sure All right, three circle markers, um, up to full energy or a direction marker. Direction. Direction. Energy. Direction. Which then leads into lakes 30 seconds. Uh, otherwise, we could also pick lakes two minutes, but there's no way you're going to let me pick lakes two minutes anyway, so you know. <laughs> it's direction. Okay, cool. And then we're going lakes 30 seconds. And I've got 11 power ups. <laughs> sure. That is a lake. White lines. Uh, kind of Europe looking. I'm. What the heck? Come on. Uh, what? I... <laughs> that is a li Okay, all right, sure. <laughs> all right, sure, <laughs> whatever. That happened. And there's a place I would never have guessed. <laughs> sure. Like 30 seconds, that lake. <laughs> Without the power-ups. That would have been doomed. I would have guessed like Canada or something. <laughs> I don't know. Canada was completely the wrong road lines. But you know, maybe I'd get like Croatia or something. I don't know. Alright, the run is alive. We're up to 11. I still haven't died. Despite your best effort <laughs> so that's that's good that's fun we'll continue a different day it's midnight i need to go to bed i have work tomorrow look like southern european europe rocks to me that makes sense i wouldn't have pinned it on that though you know i, I would probably have pinned like mediterranean if i had no choice but like it doesn't matter also because i had more than 5000 energy on the last round so <laughs> you know you can only get zero score it's worst all right, good times. Thank you very much, everybody. We are going to find somebody to raid. For more fun times. Yeah, you know what? Why not? All right, we'll raid into somebody else who's just starting their stream and who is a uh, known GeoGuessr player who's got all the chill vibes and all good stuff. So we'll, we'll hang out for a little bit. It's, it's just a few minutes until this stream is, is going. So it should be fun. Um, I should be streaming every day of this week, I think. I don't know if Clover isn't live. Or am I blind? If people are saying Clover. Oh, he's not live, is he? I'm very unsure. <laughs> From the descriptions, I thought you meant not with Clover. No. No. <laughs> But, you know, could could have been, but, you know, it, it would be helpful if we raid to somebody who's live, I think. <laughs> raid him anyway, static image raid. Yo, I've raided the wrong no, no Leaf Clover once. Like, I l raided into uh, an offline channel that never streamed. It was great. Good times. 
You feel like an, an actual pro streamer when you do that, I, I promise. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, <laughs> this week should be streams every day from me. Um, I have no plans for what I'll do tomorrow through to Thursday. Thursday is going to probably be fan server. Um, I have no idea what I'll do tomorrow. I do want to continue the Civilization 6 run, uh, but I might do something completely different if, if, if I have that. You know, if, if something comes up, who knows? It should, should be something fun anyway, so like, uh, don't feel obliged to join if it's something that you don't like. But I do suggest that people like drop in to see games if you haven't seen them before, because you know, apparently GeoGuessr has been a huge hit. So, I don't know, maybe maybe you'll get another huge hit. Who knows? You know, you never know. And also, like, if you have something that you really think I uh, I would enjoy playing, then feel free to suggest it on the Discord because like I'm I'm happy to test out new stuff, right? It's just uh. I'm not going to play something just because somebody wants to see it, but if somebody has something that I think sounds like a good idea, then I might. Dungeons? Legends? Um... Yeah... I don't know. Dungeons isn't my style of game. Legends might have been, but I, I, I don't think it holds up really to stream. But, you know, I'm... <laughs> I don't know. I'm also very biased. And, and, you know, because they're games made by the company I work for, and I'm not really the primary target audience for them, it makes it really... It, it makes it weird to talk about it, right? It's a really, a really awkward situation, really. So, I don't know. I'd, I'd rather kind of not do that. Need something that has a reasonable progress in the three hours or so, or something that's quick fire. I mean, depends. Like we could just play for fun and talk about stuff too, right? It doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm making a huge amount of progress. It doesn't have to be something I'm good at either, as long as it's something I I enjoy. <laughs> All right, we're going to Pando. Pando is. A true character, <laughs> yeah. You get to pick if you enjoy this character or not. Like, but he sure is a character, um, and he's a uh, an awesome GeoGuessr player. And, and if you do get in with the vibes, he uh, he's a he's a good good person. So I'll leave you in his uh, maybe capable hands, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Right? Should be good. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.